listening to the Truth Be Told podcast from Trillmatic.com. Trillmatic.com. What it do, Trillions? Episode 180 of the Truth Be Told podcast. <laughs> Did you, you was, are you doing that to, to his clap? Like, uh, right. No, 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 that was to the energy. No, oh, was my energy? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, Damn, last last week's energy. energy, we had a, we had a cut, redo it. No, but, that's right, you're right. Uh, it's your boy, Big You. you uh, yeah. That's your boy, Reef, over there. Yes, it is. Black Tide is also here on the uh, Never other on side. Never on screen. Never on screen. Uh, we appreciate everybody for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Make sure you subscribe on um, Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Yes, all platforms. That's right. Uh, join our Facebook group. The link is in the description of this podcast and the show notes. Mm-hmm. Go to um, com slash merch. You know, help support the cause. Give you better content. You know what I mean? Right. Also, uh, check us out. com slash YouTube. For the reactions and shit. We got yes. a couple of new ones up there, so yes, make sure do. you go peep that. Share. Um, and um, how y'all doing, man? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this man's over here just drinking his beers. I'm feeling good. You got a little swig. Not a beer. You got a little sw- swig. A Pepsi. Do you remember when? No, do you remember? Did y'all, did, did, you ever, did y'all call it a swig? Swig, yeah, yeah. You was like, yo, let me get a swig. But what is a swig? Gulp. No, okay. no, 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 no. I'm fucking with you. What's a swig? Nah, a swig is literally like a, a, a quick, tilt, a quick yeah. tilt, a quick yeah. tilt. It's not a gulp? No, I didn't. No. You don't feel your mouth up? No, no. no. You're not supposed to. I know people who no. did that, though. That's yeah, what I thought swig. a swig was. Like, no, that's not a that swig. Was that's a, yeah, was, that's it, a it was me. It was the gulper. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing that you put it above your mouth? That's a waterfall. You're supposed that's to the water. You're supposed yeah, to do the waterfall. You ain't supposed to. Don't put your mouth on You don't have a name for it. You just that's a swig. No, no, that's 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 just drop it. Waterfall. And and they call you, that a you waterfall. Gotta tilt, you got to tilt. You got to do a quick tilt. But they call he calls it a waterfall. Yeah. That's what it's called. Don't go chasing those. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Do you have you ever heard somebody call it that though? No, that's actually, the waterfall. That, that's, that actually sounds new to me. Honestly, that's hella new. What? Like, that's new age. To like our generation didn't call it waterfall. Yeah, we don't. No, so a swig is quick. A gulp, that's a little more. But I'm saying, but when you like holding up there, that so what is a swig? So you let them. T- let, somebody says, "Let me get a swig." You let them. You let them touch their uh, mouth on first, it. I mean, hey, first of all, I tell them, who who's swigging my drink? Oh, do you wait? Wait, wait. So somebody comes, I go, "Yo, let me get a swig." You go. You go say, "Yo, no, I, no, I'm I not giving you a swig. I'm gonna give you a waterfall, though." I mean, it's it's. I don't know that anybody's ever asked me for a swig. It's happened for. I guess it happened in sports. You know, sports happen. Exactly. Lot. It definitely happened with like poor. Let's, let's say, say you're poor. Let's say when you're poor and the kid poor, comes with the fruitopia, let's and say you, want, yeah. you don't have enough yeah, for a fruitopia, yeah, and they you did. Want a you want a little swig? Let's like, say I don't, I don't, practice. I don't want to just sip out of the water fountain all day. I'm saying like, I just say we, we just finished practice. <laughs> I got this Powerade in my hand. Okay. You don't have a Powerade. You, oh, let me, let me waterfall that real quick. Oh, knock yourself out. Let's say, say, let me waterfall that real quick. Something like that. So nobody says, let me get a sweet. No, because the sweet tells me you're going to put your mouth on it. No, it was understood. It was understood. You don't put your mouth on it. It's uh, mine. You're gonna you're gonna just tilt it. Tilt it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get a little in. Uh, if sweet anything, makes we feel like you're gonna put tilt, your mouth on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't worry. I ain't gonna, if anything, we just said, hey, don't worry. I ain't gonna put my mouth on it. Boom. <laughs> let me waterfall. Let me waterfall. Yo, that's in that, sports that, settings, dog. That's why I don't hear that in sports. It sounds it's, like someone it had sounds a sports a drink. Disturbing. It does sound a little disturbing. I'm, I'm just saying. Waterfall that. Yo, <laughs> that's the only time I would hear that would be after practice or somebody because someone would have something and everybody else didn't. I waterfall you. Okay, that's you. Are, you out of pocket right now. It's like, I swear. <laughs> Yo, I got you. I'll water for you. No, you that's won't. What you say you something hey, no, like that. No, Hey, saying something no, like that, all I envision is like LL Cool J doing his talk, like, I'll water for you. No. Like, doing his lick. Y'all out of shit. It's like, y'all are disgusting. I'll water for you. That waterfall. Uh, y'all are disgusting. <laughs> y'all disgusting. Hey, that, that terminology is a little disgusting. There's I've no way this. no one else has ever heard of waterfall before. I, no, no, no. I've heard, listen, I've, I've heard people. I've heard that with smoking. <laughs> of like, course. I think, there's, I think it is like a, like a generational thing because I, I had never heard of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, until like, I got on Twitter. This was like a year or two ago. There was a big discussion about this. Yeah. And I was like, waterfall? What the hell is this? 
That's all right, so you have heard this. That's when you're introduced to it. But I'm just saying, like, I had never, I've never heard anybody actually say that shit in real life. Oh, okay. okay. Like as a like person. I'm person. glad you've seen it all. Like, I didn't make that up. No, you didn't make it up, <laughs> but it's still <laughs> weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when people say that, like, yo, look, yo, 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 hey, let me get some, let me get a waterfall. Man, of that. Listen, I don't know. I'm, I'm short a quarter. I really want to take your fruitopia. Okay. Yo, can you waterfall me? First of all, hey, don't talk to me about my I, fruitopia. I, I, hey, I like that snapple you got. There. See, they, see, that's there. Y'all go. Yes. There y'all go. Yo, yo, is that true, Moo? Is that okay? Is that, no, is that, no, is that, no. Hold up, is that tank? No. Is there's that certain, tank? There's certain drinks that you're not sharing. There's certain drinks you're not sharing, and true Moo's one of them. That is that tank? <laughs> this, yo, this, yo, is, do they still sell tank? I don't even know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe this is a disgusting some, maybe, podcast. I don't know what state they do. <laughs> maybe what country? Yo, but... Waterfall be your tag, bro. Okay, y'all out of pocket right now. We we gonna get oh, tag. Shit. Oh, oh, speaking get... of tank, <laughs> speaking of tank. Hey, what's did... crazy is there's no there's nothing really bad with saying that. It just sounds funny. It just does sound funny. Sure. Speaking of tank, no, I did watch the first episode of the Wu Tang. Okay. Like, that, like nice the, segue. Like that. I like that. I'm a beast of the segue, yeah, baby. You, you swerved uh, into that. Nice. See, that's what I'm saying. It's right. still in the mix. Yeah, this is a target. It's a target. It's still in the mix. Get it? I haven't no. seen a commercial for Tang in a minute. Oh, yeah. Shit. Only waterfall yet. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, did y'all watch the Wu Tang show? Oh shit, no, I did not. It's on Hulu, man. It's on Hulu. But you know, I, I think it's a Hulu. Uh, no, I got that Hulu. You got the Hulu? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I it's on Sprint. there. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. They released the first three episodes, right? Well, no, I'm saying, and then they're gonna do one a week. I think. I don't know if that's what they're gonna do, but I'm interested. But that first episode, I have no clue what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a hard time. Besides ODB, <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding out who the hell is who. Who's who? Yeah. Okay. You're not seeing it like a significant, <sighs> you know, something that makes them significantly well, look I like think, the person that they're supposed to be portraying. I think Dave East is Method Man. Mm-hmm. He's Method Man? I believe so. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know I, what? I, we, I, could, we, could, we could look up a cat. Yeah, we could. We could definitely look it up. But uh, I kind of don't want. I kind of don't want to know. <laughs> you want to figure it out yourself. I kind of want to just like flow because right now I don't. I, I guess I. I know ODB. You can yeah. see. You can clearly say that's ODB. That might actually make it more fun to not know, and then you right. figure it out as you go. And but I like, don't know ah, who the the dude the dude who's um, Shamar uh, the guy who's from Dope. Uh, he's in. He's in. But I don't know what. I don't know who he's. I don't know if he's Ghostface or if he's Raekwon or Inspe- Inspector Deck or yeah. J- uh, Oh, and I know RZA. Jizza. I know RZA. Definitely know RZA. There's, there's so many. Yeah, but um, the woo is powerful. I like I like it so far though, man. I like you know it looks like it's a, a real story, a plot. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know if they're gonna all beef out and then they're gonna come together in one. And so it's basically become, like uh, their movie, but they put it into a series. Yeah, I don't know how much of this stuff is true. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but I okay. did read somewhere that uh uh it took them eight years to make that show. Oh damn. Yeah, eight years. They've been working yeah. on this mother. Right, Woo! right. So um I think Method Man had his hands on like the producer side of it and all I that. Bet. So uh and of course Riz and all that. But it looks interesting though, man. I'm 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 excited to see more. So I watched uh, uh, Top Boy again. Oh, okay. So they did they put out new episodes? Well, it comes, I think, this Friday. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So I'll watch. Because on, on Netflix, there's only... it's So because it's a British show, it's, it's in like series one, so you're not season. But right. it, it's only four episodes in each one. So it's eight total. But if you want to watch it, it'll take like six hours to watch all eight. Right, right, right. I think I watched maybe like the first two or But it had been so long. I was like, we'll watch this again before it comes back. Right, right. This has been like, what, like a five-year gap? Three, it's been a nice long... Four-year gap or something Good like Lord. that? Yeah. Hey, Drake bought it back, man. <laughs> that shit might that shit might do something now this time around. I think Maverick Carter's involved in that too. I, I think people like involved with it. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you watch the uh, HBO um, the shot? Yeah, the shot. I did. Yeah. What you think about that? Well, I was a little sad. LeBron wasn't there. I just yeah. listen because he brings a little something to it, but he doesn't know? bring a little something to it because it's LeBron. Yeah, yeah. it's LeBron James. You want to hear his 
His in, his input. Uh, his input yeah. based on what he does. Because, you know, yeah. these are people talking about, I don't want to say being great, but, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, the top people in their fields all kind of discussing just mm-hmm. different things. You want to yeah. hear LeBron's take on things, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, it's a little weird not having him there, but I can still make it through in an episode without like, him there. And, like, I know that, obviously, it's edited <laughs> for time, but for some reason, I really felt the edits on this one. Like, I'd heard after the fact, listen to other different people discuss it. They were like, you know, yeah, they were there for, like, three and a half hours. And right, right. People were trash because, you know, they're drinking wine and everything while they're talking. Right, right, I'm right. just like, man, I feel like there was certain conversations that really got going, and then it would right. change directions, kind of. Kevin Hart really does. <clears throat> uh, he, he definitely, like, I was like, okay, yeah, he's been drinking. <laughs> oh, you could tell Kev was drinking. Yeah. But. but you know what, though? Real talk, I kind of think that maybe Kev got a little bit of alcohol problem. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Uh, because of that situation, should have happened at the, uh, what was it, Super Bowl? Yeah. When they won yes. or whatever? Yeah. That, that shit, shit. That shit, too. I forgot about this that. This accident? This accident, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you think about it, like, put it why didn't he just stay at the at the car? Get him out, move him there's, real quick? There's a lot of people think there's some details that are being hushed. Right. Um, so He's maybe, also a very small guy, so it probably doesn't take much to get him there. He probably could have been drinking. They said he wasn't driving, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, he probably was driving. Got to protect Kev, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to. That's the... <laughs> it's the moneymaker. Everybody's counting on him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm sure that there's going to be more details. He's the star. So but yeah. I also wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't. Because I figured <laughs> what I was listening to, but they made a good point. They're like, I'm sure the Malibu police have seen a lot in their day. Oh yeah, involving big name, big money people, oh, right. yes. getting out of shit. There's certain things that just stay hush. Right. Mm-hmm. I think we'll there's see. probably definitely some something going on with that, but maybe, maybe, maybe Kev got a little bit of alcohol problem. I don't know. Yeah, it's a possibility. Yeah, you should check it out. Reva. That's it. Yeah. All the shops have been interesting combos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So they had they had a little nice X on here. Uh, Gronk, Gronk, uh, Charlemagne, uh, Kevin Love. Kevin Love. Um, Paul Rivera. Is that his name? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I'm missing one. Maverick was there, of course. Where I feel like I'm missing one, too. Charlemagne. <laughs> but they have, they have like somebody a else. Him. Was it a rapper? They have a mixture of like artists and athletes. Athletes, and maybe they might have an actor or two. Yeah. Personalities. Yeah. yeah. And they all just kind of sit there and just talk. Talk to shit, 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 talk shit. Yeah, shoot the shit. <laughs> Drink yeah. wine in a barbershop like niggas be doing that. And they're sitting there. It's funny because they're always like getting, oh, CJ McCollum. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. They're always like sitting there getting their hair cut, getting the lineup. Mm. And it's kind of funny because there's some of you can tell they don't really touch their hair. Right. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, they, so they be acting like they're doing it, but they don't. Yeah, they I put like the kids on them and everything. Sometimes, sometimes they do. Like I've seen them like it's actually like cut. Really you can tell who really gets the cut. Real who gets like this a line? Yeah, you can tell that they're and, not using the real sound from the Clippers. They put they like lay yeah. the yeah. Clippers track <laughs> down. <laughs> hey, hey, Clipper got studio time. Right, they're right. in the booth. Yeah, we need a five the minute full yeah. length. Yeah, we just need to get three hours of. Clipper. Clipper. Well, it's funny because there's some <laughs> that you can tell, like, yeah, you can give them a lineup and it'll be okay. Then there's others. It's like, no, nah, you can't like just line them up. Like, you're gonna have to cut his hair. Yeah, you have to. Really and then there's the other shit. ones that it's like, I know you don't cut hair like this. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. when he was on Gronk, I was like, I know you don't cut. Yeah. You don't cut this style. Right. Gronk, this is like a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you just pull up with between your fingers and stuff, or yeah, buzz cut type. Yeah. <clears throat> just, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, or like the people that like when you when they they'll cut like you could tell that they probably did like a real cut, mm-hmm. but like now that they're shooting the show, they're just mm-hmm. like acting like they're touching up. Exactly. The yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That they That's probably funny. actually gave maybe like 20 minutes before. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, I'm just gonna, you know I'm you got people talking and moving and shit. You can't really be cutting hair. Right, you can't. Right, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. They getting up, moving gonna and like, shit, yeah. laughing and shit. You get hair in your wine. Just watch. Just <laughs> get hair in your wine. <laughs> just watch. Just watch him whenever like somebody moves around and laughing. Watch the barber do. He's still he's still trying to cut. Like, yeah. yeah I got this. He's I got like, this. Yeah, he's just looking like he's just We all know in real life. You move, you turn your head a little bit. Bar, put your hand on your head. Yeah, be like, like move again. Nigga, stop moving. Yeah, <laughs> your mind going to be fucked up. Yeah, yeah like, I'm going to fuck it up and it's going to be your fault. <laughs> all right. Shouts out to the barbers, man. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no. It's, it's, Shouts out to the barbers. Yeah. Shouts out to the barbers and, and don't take no shit from no moving, moving customers. Shouts out to good barbers, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shouts out, shout out to, to barbers that are 
on time. Shout out to the barbers that uh, <laughs> that when they set schedules <laughs> and um and uh they, they keep to those schedules. Um shout out to the barbers that wash their hands uh before they cut you because mm-hmm. you can always Some wear gloves. <laughs> Some do wear gloves, you know. Right? Right. So you could tell like I definitely had like a barber before, like, yo, bro. <laughs> Your hand stinks. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never had that. No, <laughs> you know, it's a lot. It's like while they're grabbing one, <laughs> cutting this side, they got their hand over here, just like it's like, yo, <laughs> yo, you Did definitely you put something in someone's hair and then to wash your hands. Run after that through some something? hand sanitizer, or something, fam. Uh, That's funny. Shout out to barbers that if they had their, you know. Their head on their shoulder holding their phone, they stop lining you up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rather than just try to keep, <laughs> trying to keep going. Lining. Yeah. No, I'll leave yeah. my back. No, I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> real. Don't worry about no, me. Yeah, exactly. Like, you finish your conversation. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Have we ever talked about how to break up with a barber? Right here? I think I we have. have. I've yeah. never had yeah. to do it. I think we did, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did. Yeah. It was a while ago. Can't tell you what. Anytime what I've had to switch, yeah. it's either because I like moved, so it was like a location thing, so it wasn't a real breakup. Right. Or something happened and I had no choice. Right. Yeah. Like they moved. This one dude sure. I really messed with, like, I, I was devastated. I wasn't walked up looking for him. That another dude walked out. He's like, hey, what's up, man? I was like, yo, I'm looking for you know, so and so. He's like, oh, he got shot. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like damn, <laughs> dog. This I was like, like hood barbers, bro. <laughs> I was like, I really like wow. that dude. Yo, like, He's I like, but I can get you, though. Yeah. <laughs> I remember oh. when Barbara, yeah, this, this nigga got locked Fuck. up. And he's like, oh, yeah, yep. he got locked up and get caught with the weight. And I was like, you cutting hair. Damn. No, hey. Exactly. It's, it's a, sometimes it's a front. It's a side I get it. It's a front. He yeah, yeah, like, cleaned the money. I cut hair, yeah, but I actually push that money. work yeah. out the back. Yeah. You know, Damn. Those need to be the cold ass barbers, too. Yeah, they usually but are. But see, that's, it's funny <laughs> you said it because yeah. the same dude, the one who's like, yeah, I can, I can get you, though, he would do the same thing. He'd be mid cut. Somebody would just walk in and look at him. He'd be like, hey, bro, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> He would lead it, go out of the car, and come yeah. back in. Come go back. to the back of the yeah. building or some shit. Yeah, he was a hothead, like, too. It's a nigga. You'll see a nigga walk in the door, he be like, Shh. Hey, back yeah, here. I'll be right back. Go smoke a cereal real quick. Yeah. Uh, he was a hothead, too. Face. I used to get so mad, but I swear to God, if I get shot in this chair, I'm, I'm mad as hell. <laughs> better not be no, a, 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 a little barber spot, though. Better man. not be it's a just... dope deal going sideways. Yeah. <laughs> I've definitely sat in the chair like, yo... I kind of feel like somebody's about to run up here and shoot everybody. Uh, uh, there's a couple <laughs> times I thought somebody's going to run up on him. I'm Don't, like, dog, you. Listen, but your cut be fire, okay? <laughs> but I can't relax. You can't relax, but your cut be fire. Looking in the mirror, it's like, <laughs> damn, that is good. That's real good. It's like, yo, this, I ain't never seen a line like this ever. But at the same time, you're over looking around like, yeah. I've uh, definitely been in that situation. Is something going to go down right now? Uh, yo, man. <laughs> yo, Fuck man. that. <laughs> one, time, one time, no joke, I walked into a, uh, walked into the barbershop. Real, real talk. Hmm. Walked up to the barbershop. It's daytime. Hours of operation are open. All right. I get the door. I try to open it. It's locked. But everybody's in the barbershop. Right. So, <laughs> barber comes to the door. He was like, hey, man, my bad. And then he lets me in. Locks the door. He was like, we can't just let everybody walk in right now. And I'm like, why? I go, it's on the damn screen. It's fucking Superhead, okay? With Mr. Marcus. And everybody's like, <laughs> look at Superhead go. <laughs> it was watching. Wow. It was a group. It was It was a. Yeah. So they were locking the doors just to kind of, you know. Just to keep from people from just walking yeah, in. Can't let no kids walk up walking in. Right, right, yeah. Like mom and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh. Yeah, it's hood barbershops, man. That's what it is, man. Shots to, shots to the hood barbershops, man. Hey, those are the best ones. Uh, <laughs> they are, man. They really are. They are. Uh, all right, man. Let's let's get into some of these topics, man. Um, let's start with Mac Miller, man. Uh, it was recently the anniversary of Mac Miller, uh, his passing, right? A couple of days ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people were kind of in the feels about that uh, these past couple of days. Uh, but recently, mm-hmm. um, his drug deal has been arrested. Um, for uh, what I'm thinking is the lacing of. Of his dealt with some fentanyl, which probably caused a reaction to cause him to pass. I mean, there's yeah. a really no. I mean, we don't know. You know, what I mean, uh, if that's what it is, you know, who knows? He may have mixed it himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody knows. Um, <clears throat> but I think they said. I think they said the police had like text messages from the dude. Not oh, sure. Yeah. And then one, one, there was one text message from the guy recently to somebody else that was like, "Yo, they're gonna. I'm gonna die in jail." 
That's what the, the drug dealer apparently was selling someone else. Yeah, he sent to somebody else. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like he just knew he was gonna get fucked up. So, uh, what y'all think about this? I think it's fucking horrible. <clears throat> that that's that, that ends up being what it is. That you just get some lace shit, right? From someone that you trust. Although I mean, not to say go do drugs, you know. But it's like, nah, it's just if that's what he was doing. He had trust that he was getting some good shit. So I don't know. It's it's, it's 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 a shady game though. That's the thing. You never know. That's why I mean, you gotta pick pick your poison, as they say. You know, if you if you fuck with some heavy shit, you never know what the fuck. You're not there while it's being put together, made. You know what I'm saying? You're just buying the product, so right. you don't know what the fuck is in there, really. So, kids do not do drugs. I feel like every time we hear about somebody, whether not just you know in the music game, but any type of celeb or someone famous died of an overdose, it's always like, oh, they found traces of fentanyl in it. Mm-hmm. Lately, that's Every what time. you hear. Like, yeah. <clears throat> you think that's like, like people are lacing people's drugs with this, or, or people are specifically like, yo, I take cocaine and fentanyl. Yeah. But you like, know what I'm saying? Like, like they, they know to take They choose fentanyl. to do that. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I think some people are not aware. Not aware. I remember ODB. ODB died from a mix of cocaine and Tylenol PM. You know what I'm saying? And uh, maybe it's just like people, you know, I don't think that everybody's mixing fentanyl with there. But I do know some people f- like fuck with fentanyl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like specifically, they want that shit. I don't think that's what, yeah. I don't know what's going on, Mac Miller. I mean, lacing it is that, like, lacing it or they Jackson? stomping on it? What? It sounds, I think, I think it, it is. I think fentanyl. it was. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. I mean, is it being stomped on? Is that basically what they're using to cut it, or is that just adding something else to it for Man. a different high? Or is it supposed to still give you the same high? Like it's like, and you you just don't know what's in there. I don't know because I think fentanyl is like an opiate, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, it's supposed to put like like put you down, help you sleep, or some shit like that. Right, right. Um, I think so. Yeah, no, because if it was the same thing that killed Michael Jackson, that's they're saying that like, he couldn't sleep, and he was, and say we're doing that, but they're like, it's not like. Actual sleep, it's no, more it's like not. a knock you out, yeah, for like, like surgery type thing. Yep, not, right, right. You're not getting the actual rest, you're not getting the rest, you're just they're just t- they're just shutting you down, yeah. Uh, but. CDC estimates fentanyl is being 80 times more potent than morphine. <sighs> That's just wild. This is this wasn't this with uh, Whitney Houston, too. Listen, <clears throat> they, <laughs> I don't know what these celebrities are doing. I don't, know tell you, I don't know what's going around Hollywood. Like, come on, man. I'll tell you what it is, man. Number one, access. Yeah, it is. Money and access. Money and access. And it's being, t- not just access, it's, it's being offered one. and just given right. to them. Right. Yeah. You know, Do you remember just, that um, LA Angels pitcher that died a couple months ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Young, really young dude again? Same thing. They said he died with a mix of alcohol, fentanyl, and oxycodone. Mm. It seems like it's always fentanyl that they do. Fentanyl's always involved. Yeah. Cause man, it's like uh, it's it's just uh, I think two men like they get prescribed it, they get addicted to it, uh-huh. uh, and then they have access, they have money, they can get more. They can get it if they want it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even if you just like talk to the pharmacist, like yo, personal. Just like, take you take you take ten thousand dollars, you stick it in the pharmacist's pocket, okay, and say hook me up. Yeah. You know what and I'm saying? Gonna say no. Yeah. They could. Some people say they could say no. I could lose my fucking license. Yeah, some of us be like, I don't give a fuck. About there are child. there's some that'll say that, and then there's some like that will MJ's take doctor. It. Once you do a certain amount, they're like, you know, fuck it. I'll take my chances. Yeah, I'm making my money. I'm making good money with yeah. this. Yeah, some people, yeah, some yeah, people. Uh, yeah. That's definitely uh, gotta be something that. Uh, and I think too, like with celebrities, man, I'm gonna be real with you. You know what I mean? Um, I think sometimes, man, like they got a lot of pressure. I know some people are just like, what well, are rich? They're famous. So I'm, well, you know, who cares? But I think they're under a lot of pressure sometimes. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Uh, and they kind of lean on this man and, you know, OD. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shit. Michael Jackson was getting ready to go on tour, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? They got pressure. They got a lot they're dealing with mentally. They got, you know. Yeah, a whole bunch of stress. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's it's rough out there, man. You know what yeah. I mean? So, look at like, what always happens to child stars. Mm-hmm. You know, they're Jesus not as well Christ. equipped to deal with some of the stuff. They almost always get all grown and lose their mind. Right. Like, okay, like, your, yeah. boy, your, uh, your your boy from um, That's So Raven. What's his name? Kyle Massey. 
<laughs> the one that's been wigging out the past. Oh, years? Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if he's if he's like drugged out, if he's tripping, or if he's completely one hundred percent sane. I don't think he's a hundred percent okay. Like, is he affected by his childhood stardom? I think he there's some stuff that probably needs to be addressed, but I also feel like there's some substance abuse. I don't know that. That's alleged. You know, I'm not accusing him of that. It just right. you just feel like there his is. behavior just seems a little too erratic. I'm like, this is <laughs> some of his funny. Well, I said that's what a lot of the stuff saying. that ruins the childhood started because as they're getting older, that's when they're introduced to the drugs. I mean, so. he's been doing it since he was a little kid. No. Yeah. <laughs> Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen went through like a rumor, like. Mm-hmm. They were good till they had to be like teenagers. Then it was, yeah. Like, Lindsay Lohan too happened. Yeah, mm-hmm. Lindsay Lohan too. Oh, <sighs> money, money in Hollywood, huh? Well, you know, um, <laughs> hopefully Mac Miller. You know, we find out exactly what happened with Mac Miller. So you know what I'm saying, R.I.P. to Mac. Yes, sir. Uh, peace. Let's move on. It's, uh Lizzo. Mm-hmm. So this was uh, Black Todd's favorite artist. Tweet I, <laughs> tweet I saw. After we recorded uh, last week, whenever it was reporting, but it was um, showing that she was the first black woman this year to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100, thanks to Truth Hurts. Yeah. Just listen, I got old 70-year-old uh, <laughs> white men saying, hey, what did Lizzo mean by this? Somebody came up to me and asked me about Lizzo lyrics, and I was like, oh, okay, she's she's hitting. She's hitting. Yeah. She's she's touched. That's when you that's when You, you got to put the Genius app on his phone. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> so this motherfucker can start uh, sending this shit to the fans. <laughs> shit. <Yeah>, right. <laughs> Thought rappers were getting locked up for their legs before. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, nah, man. I, she, she's definitely... Uh, she, I, to be honest, I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't know where she came from. I didn't know... I didn't see her lead up. She, it was just... Yeah, I'm telling you. One day she wasn't here. The next day, boom. Hello. Yeah. Sonic Boom. You know I what I'm heard saying? Truth Hurts, and I want to say it was 2017 when it came out, because I heard them talking about it on the read, and I didn't hear anything else really about her until this year when she just exploded. Mm-hmm. So you had you said you, you had heard about it on the read. I heard that song, Truth Hurts, when it first came out. I want to say it was mm-hmm. in 2017, because Kid Fury and Chris were talking about it. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's when I went and listened to it, but that was pretty much the end of it. I was like, okay, you know, I like the song, but that was the end of it. I didn't go any further, and I didn't really hear anything about her either after that. And nothing before that. Mm. I don't know. I don't know where she came I, from. Man. I don't know where the booze came from, but hey, <laughs> I like her though. She's funny. No, nah, she's yeah. cool, man. I like her, man. I see. I got seen her. I seen her at title when she was doing her little performance with uh, uh the baby. And uh, she was twerking on the baby, and uh, it's just an interesting optic. Yeah. She's, she's, <laughs> it's funny him being kind of a small dude, and like you know, yeah, yeah she's uh, very much unbothered and, and yeah. not shy of anything. And <clears throat> uh, what did you? What do you think about? Uh, let's, we got to talk about it a little bit. Azalea Banks, she kind of went in on Lizzo. I can't stand Azalea Banks. I, why does she keep popping she, up? No, and she has something to say about it. She always pops up everybody. when it comes to talking about I'm other saying, people. And it's never good. It's never productive. And I don't know why she running her mouth. I'm like, ain't no one checking for you. Ever. That's it. That's Ever. All, that's on all anything. Go I've away. Never, I've never listened to her music. Bye. <laughs> How do you have money? Say bye. <laughs> She, I think she gets, she probably gets appearance money. For who paying for that? Who cares for that? Appearing where? Mm-hmm. Little club. Listen, listen. Little if club. you listen right Bot- now, bottom feeder. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably certain cities that she could probably go to where she could be like the host at the club, the MC. You know, yeah. The part, you know, the party starter. The shit that Ray J used to do. Oh shit! I'd rather pay to see Ray J. <laughs> no Ray J. I, well, I would at rather one point, play Ray J. Ray J. Was the party starter? Like he was. He was. He was, he was just getting paid. At, he was getting paid for appearances and shit like that. Just go to the club mm-hmm. and be like, "Yo, make sure y'all, make sure y'all go <laughs> holla at DJ so and so, yeah." And that's because that people it. excited to see Ray J. Why? Because of one wish. He's just a fun. He has good energy. Because of the because fl- of the flick. <laughs> oh, okay. You're right. Damn. <clears throat> Well, all right. Nope, that's not why you went. <laughs> I never went. What the fuck? Okay. 
<laughs> what <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> oh shit! Well, um, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Keeps giving us a makes her uh, her voice, but yeah, we gotta just block her out, y'all. Uh, Nicki Minaj, another one of uh, Black Tie's favorite artists. I'll do this. Uh, what's going on, Miss Nicki? Well. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've decided to retire and have my family. <laughs> I know you guys are happy now. To my fans, keep repping me. Do it till the death of me. X in the box, cause ain't nobody checking me. Love you for life. Those were Nicki Minaj's final words to the rap game. That sounds like throwing in a towel. You think she's tired? You think she's tired of the backlash? Just or like the, the, throwing the white towel. Just the comparing, the backlash, the what she should have did. How she should have done it, and she sees that now, probably, mm-hmm. and how it's just all, it's all closing it didn't, on her. Yeah, it's all closing on her, and it didn't work. Like her vision worked for a while, but it all fell apart, and now like that vision crumbled, and now she's she's the one that's trying to still do tracks with people who are popping up right now. So you talking about like Meg? Yeah, I just seen the headline that said Meg Thee Stein defends Nicki Minaj's struggle twerk Damn. from that video, and then I was like, they "All were right, going after I did see that." Okay, they did right. All right, so I was just like, "All right, she probably feels like she can't do nothing right now. Can't, I think can't even twerk right." She <laughs> also Damn. said can't she's going to talk twerk. about this on Queen Radio. So she's going to go into detail what, about her yeah. retirement. But listen, really? yeah, she's not retiring. I, I mean, I know she you know she recently cool. got married or whatnot, and. I'm expecting there's probably going to be a kid within the next year or so. So you think she's actually going to go have some kids? At least one. I think she wants to, um, but I, she's not. Re- she's not retiring. Cardi B was the first, I think, a female rapper to like embrace the pregnancy and like be out here like have a kid and not slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. the working, like the everyday working woman. Make it a part. Yeah, make it a part of it. Yeah, she did at a young age too. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Yeah, under, I think she was t- what 25, whatever her age was, something like that. Yeah, man, she got it out the way early. You know what I mean? So, um, it's true. Well, you know, Nicki and I, she had a, she had a, she had a good run. Yeah, she had a good run. Yeah, had, she had a good run. Had. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Cardi's only 26 right now. So yeah, that's just crazy to me because she just not that she looks older, but she seems older. She acts older. Yeah, definitely. All right. A little bit of old spirit. Yeah, I don't. I don't think she's she's not really retired. She'll she'll be back. She'll be back. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna definitely be back. Uh, and will it? What, the question is, will she be embraced? Will it be just the like, bar? She, aren't she going will. Anywhere. Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all. It'll be better for her to just step oh, yeah. back for a while, and then when she comes back, it absolutely. Actually, it was probably all the other the bullshit. All that shit would kind of. Fade, fade away, away yeah, yeah. get swept under rugs. Because see, listen, this is and listen, it's the truth. Whenever <laughs> be told the the game, no, for real, man, the, it's this has happened. We can look at this like all these case studies. The uh-huh. game will love you, and then they will hate you, mm-hmm. and then but whenever they decide they're done with you, there's nothing that they love more than a good comeback. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you come back strong, you good. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta come back she strong. She's gonna be gone for a year and a half, and then someone's gonna post <clears throat> cover art. Oh, I got that new such such figure, Nicki Minaj. I'm like, what? Right. Yeah. And if she comes out and hits them with some Roman's Revenge, then we'll, they're gonna be right back where they were. <laughs> or she come out with a squad. You know what I'm saying? Like a cold squad, too. Mm hmm. So, All females. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll see. Uh, maybe she's done, maybe she's not. Uh,. Adam Sandler, <laughs> this is the interesting, because uh, you were just doing the, the Bobby Boucher shit earlier so it was. Before, before the podcast. Yeah. So was. this is interesting. Adam Sandler's on here. So what's popping? Um, happy birthday. Oh, okay. What's he yeah. turning like? Fifty. Fifty three. Fifty three. Okay. Fifty three. <laughs> <laughs> He's still out here too, man. Yeah, same squad is. too. Same squad. All group of friends. <laughs> Just having fun. Just doing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Acting the ass on even camera. Even added David Spade to the to the to yep. the group. Even even your other boy too, uh, Kevin them. Kevin James. Yep. They added him to the squad too. They did. Yeah. That's yeah. Like the said, squad. Welcome to the squad, Sandler yeah. squad. <laughs> I forget what their what their little. Uh, I forgot what it's called too. Happy Gilmore. Billy Madison. 
Billy Madison, you're right. That's, That's Billy Madison, Madison production. Yeah, Billy, yeah, Billy Madison production. I saw this uh, Adam. Uh, Blueface. <laughs> you use favorite rapper. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> if I was if I was back rapping, <laughs> there there's a bar with Blueface. Yeah. There's a there's a couple of bars with Blueface. All right. Okay. Like like a couple of like like for him or like fabulous him? punchline bars that can be used with like his name. I just okay. Just so you know, that's like it's like sitting duck. You can do like twelve different things with that man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, I just saw actually. when I was going yeah, through right. doing our last minute, you know, rounds. Um, he was on Instagram celebrating and dancing because um, Tatiana went platinum. Oh, finally went platinum. Damn, took a while. Well, you know, shouts out to him, man. But he made it. Yeah, he did make it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what his future is, man. Um, I don't know if he's going to be here for a long time. He's going to be here for, you know, he's going to be here for a short time. For the moment. Yeah. Mm. We'll see. It, he mean, made it this far. He made it this far. The, the the only way you keep going is if you, he, if he makes it, you know, makes it happen. Right. You got you to gotta try. You, gotta, you can't just fade away. You can't let yourself fade away in the business. Not these days. These days you got to stay, stay in the mix. Bro. He actually low-key kind of got some bars. Oh. I know it sounds like he doesn't, but he has some bars in there sometimes. You pay attention, Dude. like he has a couple of nice little lines in there. I just need him to move a little bit closer to the beat. Nah, nah, we'll, we'll see. Closer nah, nah, to the see. beat, <laughs> and we'll see. It, him being off beat, that's his thing. It bugs the hell. That's his thing. It's, it's like thing, always a part. Who of you his. think's gonna? Uh, it's like sick the shocker. That's his thing. Who you think's gonna stay relevant? Longer, I can't. I can't argue with X, that. Nas X. <laughs> Who's gonna stay longer? Just, it, might, it might be Lil Nas X, man. You know what I'm saying? If if Lil Nas X got like where he he went into this, uh, went into it like how Drake did. Drake was just like, yo, I'm I'm gonna hold this. All right, I'm gonna make sure I get all the pieces in here to make sure we hold this. If he did that, then he'll be all right. If Lil the, Nas he, X, he had the robot choreography. All right, <laughs> Andrew Yang, 2020. Okay. <laughs> John Yang. <laughs> Who is John Yang, nigga? <laughs> that should be the name of the episode. Who's John, Who's John Yang? Yang? Yo, I, I think I'm going to name the episode Who is John Yang because I, I feel like we got to just say, so, listen, this is how they did Andrew Yang, okay? They did Andrew Yang so yeah. dirty. You might have talked to him, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They, did this, they did my guy so dirty, okay? The news been like, they just been trying to downplay him, acting yeah. like he's just not, non existent. Yeah. Man, man got a whole, got a whole. Yang gang out here popping. Yeah. News outlets is just like, who? who? We don't know who he is. Um, no, we didn't cover him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, of course, people, people get a little upset. You know what I'm saying? So, this man uh, recently was caught crowd surfing, okay, at one of his rallies. All right? They're having the most fun. Um, listen. He living his best life. Bro, he, he living is. his he best is. life. Bro, even if he don't win, bro, he's, 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 had, the, he's had the most fun running for president. Exactly. They, I'm talking about they pick him up and they crowd surf him, okay? That's, that's Man just laid out. It was awesome. a good crowd surf, too. It's a good crowd that's, surf, that's right? Awesome. So, uh, uh, of course, the news outlets are talking about this, like, yo, uh, <laughs> presidential candidate out here crowd surfing, all right? Yeah. Uh, and MSNBC <laughs> says, uh, says, uh, and we see oh, John God. Yang, and so it was like, John Yang? <laughs> John Yang. Keep in mind, uh, MSNBC's been fucking up his shit like a few times. Yeah, so they <clears throat> they just can't get his name right. They can't. Either. They mm. just can't get. They they got his they, name right they, before, but, but they'll they do shit like here are the ten candidates, and then they won't. They they didn't add his name to the as a as a candidate. They just yeah. put nine candidates. This is, it's like it's like a subtle blow to to his, to running to his running because by doing that. It throws off just him. It's like a story about fucking his name up or, you know, right. things like that. It's not actually about the quality of what he's running for. What he's like running that. for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think they, they, he's, he's taking it and he's using it, you know? He has saying? to. It, yeah, he has to swerve that <laughs> shit for real. Right. Got to. It's yeah. just so funny where we're at now. Like, who would have ever thought if I told you just two elections ago that I came back to you from the future and said, hey, y'all. Um, we have an election year next year. Um, <laughs> this guy is going back and forth with John Legend, and this one's crowd surfing. Yo, let's talk and about this. And there's Legend. 45 <laughs> other ones who are also trying to run. Oh, do we got that on the top? It's it's not. But okay, let's talk here. about it that now. Real quick. It is now. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tell me what happened. There's a hashtag I was called President Pussy Ass Bitch. 
Let me you tell might you. Lean away from the window. <laughs> he said, right when I lean away from the window. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, is my mic working? The <laughs> hum. <laughs> So uh, let, let's talk about this real quick. Yeah. Um, Trump is 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 he, he? Everybody knows he's the Twitter guy. Yeah. Okay? He's. I wouldn't be surprised if he added <laughs> uh, w- worth to Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Just his presence being there mm. just makes Twitter more. You know what I'm saying? More valuable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because the president, he's wilding. So he gets on there, he's wilding, and he's he's talking about. I don't really remember what the exact situation was, but in his he's, he he did a quote, he did a um, thread, <laughs> and then he says, uh, "Boring musician John Legend." He adds John Legend too, so John Legend can see the tweet, all right? Uh, and his filthy mouth wife, <laughs> all right. We don't. I don't even want. Whatever comes after that doesn't really matter. It doesn't. And now right? he didn't <laughs> add her. He didn't add. He her. just said Chrissy Teigen. Yeah. And <laughs> Chrissy Teigen is upset. Then oh, the clap man. back began. Yeah. So then she says he didn't even. He didn't even. Have a decent, decent, decent tag attack me. He tagged everybody but me. Oh, yeah. President pussy ass bitch. <laughs> What's what she said? Yes. Yeah, she said. Ah! <laughs> so of course yes good job Excellent. hashtag president pussy ass bitch became like a thing, a thing. we're using it you that's know awesome saying, or whatever that's what uh, he is John Legend kind of you know clap back a little bit on that too so there's a bunch of mess going on with that you know what I'm saying uh, now do you feel like president pussy ass bitch is too far no that's, that's you said it's perfect that's, it's it's almost hitting the nail on the head <laughs> <laughs> It's What's almost? almost? <laughs> it's, it's, oh, almost? Yo, if because you can go reefer, worse. There's a red dot on your head. You can go. <laughs> what is it? Oh, shit. No, no. You can go worse. Okay. All right. Because you can go worse. You can. You can always go worse. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 not bad. I can't. Like I like that. This, I like this that. That's, that's quality. That's quality. This right was there. drawing for certain quality people because she has a very large following. Who's it jarring for? <laughs> Her very large following who don't use language like that. Uh, she's used language like that on the on this Twitter. <laughs> this is a, see, the, she's pretty wild. About this stuff, but <laughs> you don't just hear pussy ass bitch. All oh, that that is unique. So <laughs> to, towards the president. On top of that, this is different though. Trump is different. She has eleven point yeah. six million followers. I'm not saying she's wrong for it. No, not and I'm at not all. Saying she shouldn't have said it. I'm just right. saying. I know some of her followers were like, "Oh my god!" She didn't have to yeah. say it. She didn't have to. I mean, she could have said something else, less you know, with less uh, uh, confrontational. <laughs> but you know what? Like I said, I if, fucking love it. If, like <laughs> I said, if I came, if awesome. I came back in time to tell you what was going on, you'd be like. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's straight up. You got that going on. Got, who's the like, guy crowd surfing? Yeah, he's it's John Yang. <laughs> John, Yang. John Yang. His real name John is Andrew. Yang. Bro, they, <laughs> bro, they put they they need uh, uh, Andrew Yang's face onto John Wayne's body. <laughs> I was just waiting for stuff to start with John Wick. <laughs> they oh, did one with John Wick. <laughs> they did. They did. They called it John. They did like a thing from John Wick, and they did John Yang. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, hilarious, yeah, man. Yeah. I feel bad because like, I feel like it, I feel like Andrew's out here just trying to trying to do his best. You got the other other presidential candidates copying him. You got like Joe Biden a mockery out of him. him. Yeah, man. You know, people just I, I don't know, man. I feel like they take a, they try to push my guy out the way. You I know need what some I'm time travel. I'm gonna have fun with this. You say you need some what time, time travel. travel? I'm gonna All come right. find the two of y'all in back. You know, when he showed up with that debate without a tie on, they lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yo, oh my god! Yo, who fuck does that it? damn tie. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, watch, watch. Uh, listen, Shay, Michael Shea came out and he was like, "Yo, I feel like that's gonna be like the, the next type of president, the more chill, laid back, no tie." Ooh, the old head's gonna be you know what upset. upset. They gonna be upset. Our man, founding listen, father. If you like, thought mm. they were mad when Obama wore a tan suit, which is a hilarious thing that you would that's make such that a, a weird, scandal. That, yeah. Listen, when I seen him in a tan suit, I was like, it's it's kind of fly, but it's also a little pimpish. Yeah, it, 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 is. Wrong. It, Isn't it? it was a good look. <laughs> right, right, right. It right, was right, a good right. look, he, and he already got the walk. But it was right, right. It was so funny. He they that were came like, I swear, all old black men were like, "That is sharp." Yes, 
<laughs> and they wanted it to be and people wanted it to be a scandal so bad because they were just reaching for yeah, stuff yeah. because he looked like a cheater at that point <laughs> the, day yeah. the, the president shows up to a like, briefing he uh, can't, a press conference with no tie on <laughs> Man, they all Somebody lose this shit. Heart heart when he came out there with that test, I was like, "Oh yeah, he he hitting someone on the side." <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, don't say that. Not, you not, can't not, be that not, sharp with that. Not a man. Not a man, Obama. No, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, shout out Obama, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Obama, Obama's he has. There's been times hey, where he didn't wear a tie. There's certain times that they, listen. Somebody yeah. gotta do a pres a State of the Union. <laughs> The tie on somebody gonna lose their mind. Andrew Yang's the only one that got out there and hit them shots. Have you have you seen him play basketball? Hey, he got a squeeze. He got to go one on one with Obama. Really? <laughs> hey, that be that was one. He kind of hit that layup. I was like, okay, okay. He's young. He might get ball a little he bit. Finessed, he's finessed young. It. Yeah, he finessed it. Yang still got his knees, man. He young. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why true. I like Yang. Hey, he's is. young. He kind of. I don't want to say he remind me of Obama, but he's just young. I, like I feel like he's in tune with what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I like, think you like him because he's refreshing. He's refreshing, man, but I I, I like him because he's smart, man. You know what I'm saying? Smart I feel like he's, he's smart. I feel like he put a lot of thought into, you know what I'm saying, a lot of his policies. Of course, he may have, like, tweaked some things here and there, but I think it's only only natural if you if you uh, if you got a bunch of people discussing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's fun. I, I can tell that he really he really likes this dude. I like you, yeah, man. Never, I've, oh, never, I've never seen him talk about anybody like this. A president really or anything. I'll, yeah, someone, you're right. Like, <laughs> but he stayed talking about Cause, him. Because, man, Yang's the future, man. I'm telling you, Yang is the future. And you know, you know what? what and I, I was telling him, he was talking to me about him the other day, and I was telling him, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take your word for it. You know why? <laughs> like, he was like, he's like, you ain't even, he's like, you ain't got to just, no, I don't, I I trying you, to sell, I I'm like, not trying bro. to sell it. Or, or push Andrew Yang on, and I feel you. like people are probably listening right now, like, "Yo, get off Yang's nuts." No, <laughs> and he was telling <laughs> no, me, he was telling me <laughs> that he was like, are. "I'm not trying to do that." He was like, "Just look into, you know, some of the things you might end up liking and everything." And I already was like, you know, I, I almost feel like I don't have to. I feel like I, I'm already going to run with him because he never, never steers me wrong. Like Bro, he honestly has put me on <laughs> to artists that have fucking blown Bro. up later and it's like he was already in tune with it and I'm just like I kind of think I got to ride with him you know <laughs> when, when he tells I, me something nowadays. You know when I knew Yang was my nigga my nigga? Huh. Just this past Sunday or just this past weekend when Antonio Brown signed to the Patriots, Yang tweets out I can't stand the Patriots. Bro, <laughs> this man is a presidential <laughs> hey, candidate. Hey, you had a, do we just become best friends? <laughs> <on> <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> cool, who Bro, you you can't say you almost like you can't say that yeah, in America. Like, yeah, you almost know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Most of America feels. Even that's how most of America feels. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like because the whole team is re- like red, white, and blue. Right. Patriot, patriotic. Right. You know. He said what everybody everybody says on a normal day. That's why I feel yeah. like he's a regular dude. Yeah. You put anybody up there, they're not gonna know this shit. Yo, who the Patriots? Who, who plays on the Patriots? Yeah, they're, they're they don't just, know this they're shit. Just, they're just someone that's out of tune. And just feed a lot of time feeding you bullshit and don't even know their own numbers right. and crunched it themselves. Right. And come on, no. you got you got to be. I don't know if you've been paying attention. They've been copying this nigga dog. Everybody's like took pieces of his shit and incorporated it in their shit. Hmm. Everybody, Cory Booker, fucking Joe Biden, fucking uh, except for <laughs> except for Bernie because <laughs> Bernie is <laughs> Bernie. Like, look, bitch, my shit or the fucking highway, yeah. nigga. That's it. Yeah, I'm yeah. not copying your shit. I think your shit dumb. Bernie, the only nigga that's like, nah, that shit dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody else took a little bit, taking a little bit from me. I wouldn't be surprised if the next debate, niggas start talking exactly like this nigga. Yeah. <clears throat> I just read some shit they, today where this, uh, the, uh, the Blasio was like, yo, we got to do a robot tax. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, are you trying to, you trying to copy Yang? You didn't even think your shit out. You know You're what I'm saying? saying it. Yang <laughs> thought this shit out. <laughs> Yep, crunch numbers. Yeah, speak. Speaking of this, this, this reminds me. <laughs> I'm watching this whole Antonio Brown thing play out on Saturday. Just right. getting mad. At, as soon as I saw that he signed with them, I was like, "Why is it that they always come out on top? <clears throat> they I, never take an L. I can't stand that team. Yeah, I can't stand them either. But you know what though? It, uh, it was predicted. Like, I, like they gonna win the It was. It was moved when once that shit happened with the Raiders. It was like, all right, man, he might be going to the Patriots. They gonna win the damn Super Bowl, and I'm gonna be sick. I don't know, man. Man, they gonna win all that. Cowboys, Cowboys, Niners. Oh, we're already into this first week and was popping out here. Well, yeah, both of those are NFC teams, <laughs> so already, they're still gonna get two to the Super Bowl. We already worked Tampa right, Bay, right, so right. we gotta see what's going on next. I see, I see, y'all got the yeah. got the blankets out. 
I mean, you know, it's we got to represent, represent. It's that time of the year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cowboys, baby. Uh, <laughs> you got me. I don't know if you're watching the highlights or not, but <laughs> Cowboys looking good. It looked. Yeah, it yeah. could have been. There's a Giants. <laughs> Y'all do this every year. <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. <laughs> We're only one game in. Even even Stephen A. Smith said, "Y'all going to the Super Bowl." He also Y'all said, "Y'all ain't going to win." Accident it. waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, his words. Right. That's always the case yeah. for the most part. Yeah, I mean, you know, how Garoppolo look? He actually looked very good. Healthy. Dude, our defense. Our defense. You know, Garoppolo led the charge, obviously, but our defense like helped win the game. You know, defense wins games. That's one of the sayings. And yeah, we get, we got two interceptions. Which was the it for or three interceptions and uh f- and one? a fumble. Sherman got one for a touchdown. Like two of those interceptions of the three were f- returned for touchdowns, and we had four turn- turnovers in total because one was a fumble also, and we ended up winning. I think thirty one to, to to whatever I can't remember fourteen less than that. <laughs> yeah, can't put the numbers in my head. Right, I ain't Andrew Yang. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have said that shit without thinking. Yo, he he'd, like, he'd, he'd, he'd be like, I did the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what he'd be saying. He'd be like, I did, I, I ran the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, let's move on, man. Fall music for the coach. Wait, wait, wait. Can oh, you, you go right first? Oh, you okay? You, my bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot you got you got this little left mm. to right, left to no, right. You, I got you. you. <laughs> uh, let's move the screens falling. All right, for the uh, tighten up, man. You tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> what episode is this? I know, right? My God, <laughs> uh, Bishop. Um, Are you talking so about Meth? Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah. Meth the man is lobbying for the role of Bishop in the MCU. Really, Reef enlighten us. Who was Bishop? He's a character from the MCU. <laughs> you never watch X Men cartoon? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. remember Bishop? Matter of fact, Bishop is uh, in Deadpool. He is? Yeah. Deadpool 2? No, that's Cable. Oh, Cable. You're yeah, right. Yeah. You're oh, right. Oh, oh, shit. I'm fucked up. You're right. That's oh, Bishop. Bishop. I was like, wait Bishop a minute. What? Bishop's the other guy. Bishop's the other guy. Bishop yeah. is, 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 is other. But Bishop had like longer hair. He had longer hair. It's like gray, uh, grayish dress. Was it? What's yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but gray? he's a black dude. Yeah, he was a black right. dude. Yeah. yeah. He was in Deadpool too. No, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I got me still with Cable. Right. Yeah. Okay. At first I was like, really? I'm a little rusty. Like, I don't remember. Shit. But right. goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga's like, hey, to, no! be, hey, to be honest with you, until he said X Men, my head was actually blank. I was like, I don't remember who Bishop is. Well, I was like, oh, yeah, Bishop was the black dude. I remember. Yeah, now, yeah, Did he have a patch? Yeah. Did and this picture I was looking at, he did. Nobody's Googling this shit, nigga. This is 2019. Him and Man did have the same facial hair in this picture I was just looking at. Are you looking at Bishop right now? Yeah, Bishop and Bishop and X Men. Okay. Are you already looking at me there? Yeah, you know what they did do the movie and they had him in the movie in this Days of Future Past. Yeah, yeah, he was actually that dude. Yeah, he's yeah. the one that was shooting the gun. Right, he was, yeah. Through the portal hole. He, caught that, he caught that L though. He was like one of those OGs in the that X Men. Yeah, he was yeah. one of the OGs that ended up passing in the future. Right, 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 right. They ended up getting fucked up by them signals. Fuck yeah. Them signals were too were raw. Too futuristic. This is right. the picture they had on the tweet that I was looking at. Yeah. So Method Man. Is trying to go for that, yeah. In the MCU, in the MCU, I, why not? Why I the think, fuck not? I, th- I think he should. Yeah, go yeah. for that shit. Yeah, I think he'd be great. X Men is they're on their way. Yeah, bring some hip hop into that shit. Fuck yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't got no hip hop in these movies. MCU movies, bitch ass niggas. Um, <laughs> and I can I can see I can see uh Method Man like bringing like a good energy to that character, making that character stand out a little bit more. Right. Damn, I thought he had a patch, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, no, he got a scar on his eye or some shit, right? He no, did no, have a no, scar no, on his face. Okay, all right. I, I, no, that's not, that's not. I got that mixed up. <clears throat> um, Damn, man, it's a long time ago, man. I just, I'm, I'm looking I'm looking at these pictures, and I'm just thinking about, like, when Nostalgic. I was a kid. Man. Yeah, it's just taking me back. Um, But, yeah, man, no, I'm I'm definitely down with that, man. Shout out to Method Man. Yeah, do that shit. Um, Black Todd's favorite TV show. Let me ask you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me ask you. Y'all got turned on right now. <laughs> I was trying to Commercials at all. <laughs> Dang, I'm trying to pull up my ad. We just going to start playing stuff. Right. But uh, 50 was true to his word. Oh, so he switched the song he back. He switched the song back. This yeah, he was catching some heat rock. I, yeah, he, he's like, I will correct yeah. this mistake. I never, yeah. I never, I never seen him fold like that, but he folded. 
He knew he had to though. Yeah, it could have just no... been like, nah. He said he he said he wasn't. They they're not they're not over either. That's not the last season. We'll see, man. I just, I just interested to see where the story goes the rest of this season. I've been hearing people say say some bad things about this season. It see this always happens with this show. Like those last couple seasons, it'll get to you like slowly, slowly, slow. Then it gets real good. Right, a little rocky <laughs> and then start. It, yeah, it can be a little rocky to start though. And this one, it's like, well, what's gonna happen? But after this episode that just was um, aired this past weekend, I was like, "Oh, it's, it's starting." Right. So it's starting to get good. Yeah. Okay. There has to be a build up. You can. I mean, yeah, yeah. you do have to build up. You, know, so you got to set up all the pieces and then yeah, exactly. you got to build, set the stage for the mess. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then then it starts. So, uh, <laughs> too, man. Like certain, some shows, man. It's hard. It's hard to wrap. It's really hard to wrap them bitches up. It is. I don't know. Like people say, people say um, uh, Breaking Bad was a good wrap up. Uh, yeah, it was all right. I didn't think it was like. I didn't for me. Love I didn't think it. it was. Yeah, I didn't love it either. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But uh, and, and uh, you know they kept, they kept a couple things untied on that too. I don't know if there's a good a show that like wrapped up like as much as I love The Wire. Yeah, you know yeah. What I, mean? I hated how that <laughs> one ended. The Wire. And I loved that show, but I absolutely hated the ending. Right. Right. This one I don't I don't really know I don't know that there is a an ending I'm happy with. Right. This thing of the different possibilities I don't I just I just don't know. Yeah, we might just have to accept we might just not be happy at the end. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever gonna be happy with any ending. You no, know what I'm saying? I just don't think. You know what I'm saying? There's very not few... unless you let Christopher Nolan like write your endings. Yeah. It's like you you like <laughs> Sons of Anarchy, right? Yeah, I, w- I wasn't crazy about how that ended. I wasn't crazy about that ending either. The Russo I was just brothers. Like, you know the Russo brothers. Yeah, know one of those. Let them Peter Jackson. It. Peter Jackson. Yeah, you got to give it yeah. to them. They'll well, give that you, nigga will wrap up. up and they you will know. give you a great ending. Yeah. End game is the most at peace I've been with the ending of a, like a, <laughs> even that. That was, like that a, was a pretty a solid set. ending. That's the most at peace I've been with the ending in maybe ever. Okay, so at peace, <clears throat> which is different from like happy. Okay. They were just not like. You know, I, what I thought happy. was an excellent ending was Inception. But I could also feel how some people could be frustrated with it because they don't know. Yeah. But I thought it was a, I thought it was a great ending. Good ending. You know I didn't understand the frustration with good ending. Right. Yeah. But I thought it was a solid, solid ending. I'm okay with how <clears throat> Fresh Prince ended, kinda, <laughs> kinda. <laughs> Talking about the the last like look in the house with nothing in it, no, and then it. he leaves. Yeah. But then Carlton comes running down the stairs. He's like, hey. <laughs> No, because it gave you just that little last right. bit. You're like, oh, I missed the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Martin kind of like that too. Whatever, mm-hmm. separate cities, and they were just like <sighs> single. It's over. Our life is over. Uh, the show's over. <clears throat> yeah, you always got. It's always that close down the apartment. It's like, yeah, mm-hmm. turn off the lights. <laughs> y'all niggas, uh, y'all niggas broke the uh, broke the uh, lease. <laughs> 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 I just see y'all niggas. Uh, That's how I know you grown. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm over like, did you have to just thinking of what happened financially? Like, shit, did you, is that the, the pay the contract, your, nigga? Your electric, or did yeah. they? Did you have to pay a fee? Did you transfer? <laughs> transfer the same company. <laughs> I mean, how much you pay per kilowatt? <laughs> did you get your deposit back? Cause y'all niggas always got this light on in the show. <laughs> Better job offer. Yeah. Oh shit, man! That's but so uh. Funny. Yeah, uh, it too. It so chapter dropped. two. Y'all watch this? Negative, not I yet. Did. Uh, I did. I had an opportunity, you? but I, I, I still didn't. Were you happy? With, happy with it? I've heard it's nothing but great things. Personally, I like the first one more than this one. I heard it just that the heard second one was still. I'm still opposite. cool with it. Yeah, I've been seeing people on the saying the second one isn't as great as the first one. Really? Yeah. What I do like is that. You know what was really interesting? This is the first time in, I can't even remember how long, there was no previews. Yeah. No previews before the walk in, it did the one thing for like the theater and got straight into That's it. That's because it's three hours and 50 minutes, or not three hours, two hours and 50 minutes. Yeah. It was like 2.45. Yeah. What? Yeah. But it doesn't feel like it though. They, you need all all of the time. Yeah. It's a long movie. It doesn't feel like it at all. And when they come out with on Blu-ray, they're saying that there's a chance that we'll get an over, <coughs> over three hour movie. Like, they'll put and, all that in there. And what I did extra. like is it- Was the first movie that long? No. No. The first one was like two hours and ten. Yeah. 
But what I liked was like it picks right up. It, it, it felt it, it felt like a chapter two. Yeah. This is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. It felt more like a chapter two than a sequel. Does that make sense? Or it was just like a cha- well, that's how it should feel because that, that's how it was in the in the original. It felt like a continuation. It yeah, didn't like feel it's all like, one big movie, but they cut it. Yeah, well, that's yeah, how you it, know, like sometimes exactly a, a sequel exactly was, yeah, like a sequel has like its own plot and story and all that. Right, right, right. This felt like a continuation. The original, they felt well, they followed suit on that. That's it was good. like a TV movie, originally, yeah, right? yeah, straight so, like. Uh, it was it was like a movie, but they broke it. They made it's it like a lifetime a movie, two part series. Was it a lifetime? <laughs> no, movie? fuck it with you. Yeah, I, right. It, it, it probably it was. was. Hallmark, it was a Hallmark movie. <laughs> it probably was CBS. <laughs> uh, no, it was Family. definitely like an ABC or an NBC. Yeah, or something it was something shit, like right? that. Yeah. yeah, it was something like that. Uh, but um, yeah, no, it, it was like a two part movie mm-hmm. almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was a two. They called it a two part mini series. series. Yeah, two part mini series. That's yeah, what it was two part mini series. Right. You know, you knew what you were going to get. You know, it's like you have only these two parts. You better tune in. Uh, and I so, enjoyed it. And, yeah, that's exactly how they did it. But they did it differently slightly because the first, from the beginning of the TV miniseries, they already were going back and forth from adults to kids, adults to kids. You know, they were doing that from the beginning. With this one, they started off as all kids. Now, this one, I don't know how it is. Don't spoil it. But, Won't. you know, I've made assumptions personally just thinking how I would pre- prefer it. But at the same time, wouldn't mind if it was the opposite way. Like if it's, you know, continuation where they're still kids and then all of a sudden, you know, they grow up. Or if it's them as adults and then they're having flashbacks mm-hmm. to their childhood and stuff like whatever way. I'm happy with it because I know it's going to be good. I'm not going to tell you anything movies. that happens with it, but I think you'll like it. See, I, my, bro- my brother is a hard uh, movie critic. You know what I'm saying? He's a pretty hard movie critic. And... A hard critic period when it comes to music movies you know just overall everything and he actually this is what made me think it's good he told me that not only did he think he thought it was better than the first one but he also thought that it was what it was one of his it's, it's one of his favorite he was movies like, of do all not time do. he said it was one of his favorite movies of all time the way they put it together and how it all just was set up and just just how it was done, you know. He, he thought they did it was a really that good, good job. Time. He thought it was that good of a movie. And I was just like, okay. I think the only reason I would say I liked the first one more was just because when that one came out, it was the first time we saw this Pennywise. Yeah. yeah. And so I just kind of knew what he looked like already, but I still enjoyed it though. Yeah. And it's definitely one of those like if you do see it in the theater, it gives it a little more of that. You know, scary movies are those ones I really yeah. like to see it in the theater because it feels different right right speaking of that i'm not sure if he was saying I, i'm i honestly don't know i can't remember if he was saying it out of horror movies or just all movies of all time that i don't i can't <laughs> i don't remember yeah i'm gonna say all time that's wild it did um it did 185 million this mm-hmm. weekend that's what first big. weekend yeah that's pretty strong mm-hmm. just like stephen king yeah Maybe hey, maybe out here on Twitter wild hey, before too. we leave out of here because it's not on there and I don't know if y'all heard. Did y'all hear about the Lion King? No. It 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 beat the it first the Avengers, the first movie. Oh, okay. On the list. No, the first. No, the, oh, first, the first, 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 first. Avengers. Yeah, the oh. first Avengers movie. It moved up above that one and knocked them back down a little. Obviously, it ain't gonna hit no top and take it up, but it actually beat the first <laughs> Listen, Avengers movie. This new MCU, this about they're to come battling out. each watch, other. Disney about to watch them old, the old uh, yeah. Avengers movies. Oh yeah, yeah, those first ones. Fuck yeah, I think the Eternals is gonna do numbers. Yeah, yeah, it has to with the, even with the the cast they have. Yeah. Shit, and we don't know nothing about. They're it. gonna they're gonna get to like a billion movie. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be standard. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be fucking yeah. standard. It's you know completely standard. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, man, there's gonna be records being broken left and right like constantly. <laughs> you know they have like the top fifty movies. They go, they go end up taking like a it's gonna be like Marvel, 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 Marvel. When Black Panther two comes out, how how big that's gonna be? Yeah, that's gonna be big. Shit, Blade. Oh, Blade. Man. My goodness, you're right. <laughs> you know what's funny? So like, whenever they decide to finally put it out and uh, Avatar comes out, it's gonna be like this big big thing. But Marvel's gonna be like, oh, we got another one. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, another yeah. One. Yeah. Right. and another one. And another one. And another. So while y'all are unlimited. working for the next eight years. We got movies dropping. Yeah, well, you're you, working think Avatar, on a- you think Avatar is going to wear off? 
I, I still need someone to explain to me why the first one was so great. I don't understand either. I, need to, I clearly need to rewatch it. I, 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 let, me, let me rewatch it. I don't want to be a hater. I'll I'm rewatch being, I'm it. I'm going to be a hater. I'm going to be a hater. I think I missed it was, something. It was, just a, it was about the visual, I think, personally. Okay, because I remember when I it came out. it was more out. about the visual because it was just like stunning the, the whole right. world. Just cra- it, 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 I think that's what it's more about. You know, Because to me, I think it's more of like a like a love story. Right, right. I mean, sense. I get, I get like the concerts that was going on. There. I just understand like what set it off for everybody to be like, I need to go run and go watch this movie. Yeah, I know, I know. You I think know it was just, just, just the blue people. Just blue people. Uh, I, I messed. I don't know. I, don't I honestly know. don't know. Yeah, all right. it was kind of like half and half. Like I could take my kids. To be honest this, with you, I, but I, that's adult themes. I want to ask: is, Was Avatar a book, like a novel, before it was a movie? <laughs> I feel like it was. It seems like a book. It seems like it would be something like that. And if it was, maybe that's where it already. I had just don't know clarity, and we just didn't know. They're shooting two, um, three, four, and five right now. Already, yeah. But I just don't know if like if like the Peter, second Peter life, Jackson style. Yeah, they're they're doing four more. Yeah, they're you doing. Know what I'm saying, and they've been they've been doing this for like how many years now? Since like, right after the first one, right? Like right after the first one, they went into development for them, bro. It's, so yeah. they just wait until all five are done and then dropping them. I guess so, man. Like yearly, 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 maybe. Like how they did with Lord of the Rings. You know what I'm saying? Every Christmas would, and shit. I would. I don't think they do that because if you unless but I just oh, unless they're trying to compete with Marvel, and they're going to be dropping them like shortly after every Marvel film. I just don't know if like after the second one is it going to like keep people's attention. Of course, yeah. everybody's going to go run to the second one because it's like fuck. It has been a while. It's been a while. The third one comes. The second one got to be really fucking good for people who want to go see the third one. Yeah, if you if it fails, if it bombs, <laughs> yeah, then they got to scrap three, four, and five, three multi-billion dollar movies right, probably. Right. So the, it's been 10 years. It's 10 years, bro. 10. Ain't that wild? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. It doesn't even feel like Speaking that. Speaking of 10 years, yeah, which I think, I which, which I think of the, uh, the Bad Boys 2 my trailer. Niece is, my niece is 11 years old. I get it now. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. That's true. What do you think about the Bad Boys 2 trailer? Oh, we, we weren't going to do a reaction? I didn't Cr- watch it. Cricket, you didn't watch it? No, I'm saying, yeah, I watched it. Okay. When I think of it, that was alright. I, I I kind of feel like I I no I kind of feel like I had I, I felt like we knew kind of the plot when it came to Martin. Like, <laughs> okay, we like did. We right. knew we were talking about how we felt like he. I think we're Which talking about crazy, how it's gonna be like retirement, or it's gonna be like he's gonna be out of shape, right. and he's gonna be like I can't do this. I can't hang with you anymore because we all know Will is still in shape, and we have seen Martin trying to get back into it just to do the movie roles and shit. Right. So. I kind of, we kind of we already had that idea that it was like that and it kind of came true. I'm watching the video. I was like, yeah, to an extent, we're right. So okay, I tagged Black Todd yeah. on Instagram because Martin is working out right now, right? Working out, and so I'm like, okay, was he doing? Did he like gain the weight for the mo- for the, the role? Movie? You know what I'm saying? To, I don't think so. to look slow to feel. You know, I don't think so. You don't think mm-hmm. so? I think Why now he's working feel, out now. I, I think you think he's like he's seen himself. People, people were talking about him. Yeah. He was, Cause what did we just? What did I just say? That's why they were talking about him before the damn movie, though. Yeah, because we knew that he because he kind of his face got out there again. There was like, he see himself on camera. Yeah, and he's just like, oh, man, he's like, I don't look nothing like. Will still looks the same way he looked when we did the first film. Well, actually, Whereas, listen, I was watching. I watched the trailer for the second one just to kind of go back. And I was like, damn, Will looks really young in this in this Bad Boys Two trailer, right? But that yeah, came yeah. out like oh three oh four. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that was, a, that was a long time ago. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel like because it it's 2000. But. So when he was what, same age as you then? Who <laughs> Will Smith? Yeah, isn't he? Didn't he just turn 50? <laughs> you said same age as me. <laughs> then he was that age then. He, he was 34 then. Oh, you know, I don't know. He probably was. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He look. He looks fairly. He's the same age as you. I thought you were trying to I say, say like, that like, 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 like he's roasting me. Like yo, you no, fifty looking at fifty year old man. Like, I was like, damn. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> old elder <laughs> looking funny. ass. Hey, we <laughs> hey, we're about to be on the section elders. I was uh, like, damn, fuck, I roasted. Top of the list. <laughs> no, no, big you, you. <laughs> damn, what do you? Um. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, on to our elders. No, <laughs> he's fifty, so he would. He's fifty right now. Yeah. So, t- two thousand three came out sixteen yeah. years ago. Right, sixteen. Thirty four. Shit. Yeah, he was. God damn. He was. He didn't even have no gray hair then. Well, he was getting it dyed. Oh, he was. You're right. You're right. Hollywood. He's a, he's a movie star. Yeah, he's definitely getting that shit dyed. Watch, he'll be at the premiere now. And won't have no gray hair. Yeah. 
Yeah. But if you guys follow yeah. him on Instagram. You follow him on Instagram, you'll see that gray hair. <laughs> yeah. That shit is out there. It's it's just really like in his goatee. You know, you know who got it a lot too? Kevin Hart. Shit. He got a lot of gray Yo, hair. That right? popped up on the Nigga, shop. I, got I was a lot like, of when did this happen? <laughs> It's happening. I saw that on the shop. I was like, yo, when did this happen? Yo, he been had that gray hair, man. His hair is gray, gray. He hey, already saw the pepper, man. It's, it's been like that for a long time. It was just because there was the movies, no social man. media also before when it was already starting to happen, probably. Yeah. Then social media hit, and now, you know, they get on there, and you see the truth. They die that shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? With a little makeup on, you can't tell. I mean, you know everyone, I mean everybody knows. It's, it's like a given. You, if you're in Hollywood... Hell, you're on ESPN. You're a sportscaster. You're getting makeup done before you go on live TV. It right. helps prevent the the reflection of of oils on the face, or See, sweat, whatever. Is definitely dying his hair. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They yeah. a lot of people do that shit, and it's not looked down upon. You know, you know it's who not. doesn't dye theirs? The Rock. <laughs> he does. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He just flexes. I'm talking about like his beard. He. He just Jesus. flexes his no, face right. and all the gray hairs fall out. And not anybody gonna say anything to him, but you know. <laughs> I'll say something to him. No one's gonna say nothing to him? <laughs> Shit, People have tried. I'll say something to him. And careers have ended. Let that, let that nigga rock bottom me on concrete. Hey, Get that check. Yeah, he would. I was gonna say, if I'm he getting that, check. He, he wouldn't take Crack it. Crack my skull. I don't give a damn. He wouldn't take it that far. I'm getting, I'm getting paid. He just give you the eye. Because if I don't die, I'm getting paid. <laughs> It's it's if I don't die, I'm getting paid. If I don't <laughs> die, nah, but this I'm getting paid. Ba- this bad boy's too, it, like, real talk, yeah. it needs Michael Bay back. Michael Bay. Yeah. It does. It does. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but well, I, I, bad, I, 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 Bad Boys 3 come out in January. We'll see. Right. I'm, I'm still going to see it, though. Truth be told for yeah. the trip. Yeah. Yeah, we still got to see it. Definitely, I'm going to still support it. It's just kind of weird looking at it because I feel like they tried to, like, copy Michael Bay style a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't really, like, Michael Bay's touch. Uh, that wasn't. kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. Yeah. It felt but, more like uh, action sequences, or more, I was gonna say were more like uh, reminded me more of like GI Joe. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You know, even with the gun and everything in right. the car with Bruce Willis and all that shit and GI Joe, right. it just had that kind of action feel, different, right. different things. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully, 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 we'll see. We'll see how it is. Hopefully, it turns out good, and hopefully, you know, it does better than what we're thinking. I just hope that it's be. funny, man. You know what I'm saying? I think it'll be funny. I hope if it nothing is. else. Because, 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 I got a lot. The trailer didn't sell me what how how funny it's gonna be. Like I saw the trailer, and I was like, it's all right. With yeah. The, with the jokes, I was like, I hope it's better in the movie. Like they're saving the best jokes for in the movie, which I right, know they right, will, right. but. And of course they're gonna have unedited, you know, they're gonna be cussing with it too. So right. they cussing it in the damn uh trailer. No, they didn't. That's true. They got the F bomb in the trailer. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Shout out shout shout out to the bad boys, man. Um fall music lineup. So as we know, this is all speculation and then people are gonna push stuff back and lie to us and we won't get it and you know how this works anyway. But um, I was reading something, and this was something that came from a meeting for uh, Universal Music France. They had their yearly open session. Um, it says this here, where it shares reports for the year so far and anticipates what's to come in the following months. Mm-hmm. On the list for the rest of 2019, we have some familiar names, one of which is Rihanna. S- I'm not holding my breath on that one. S- the, 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 they said it might be coming out December. That's what this says. Right. That's what this says. Right. Set a drop in December again. We'll see. Um, elsewhere on the calendar, um, some exciting drops included Kanye. It's This says Kanye in November, which we talked about a Kanye this month. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. But also said the Migos, The Weeknd, and Drake. Migos, Drake, kind of do. Yeah, they, we know we're going to get something from Drake, but whether it's an EP or album, it's coming before the end yeah, of the year because- Exactly that, and he's been doing a lot of studio stuff lately. Kanye's which, definitely in his like uh, Jesus walks bag right now. Did you see that clip of him with the the security guards? Yeah, and he was like, "This is my city." He said, "Watch, watch, this is my city." I was like, "All right, nigga." Yeah. I'm glad I wasn't the only one that thought that. I said, does, watch does Drake him. have a Christmas album? No, we're working on it, but. <laughs> Yo, yo, cut the mics off. So right. confident in yeah, that, too. So we're working on it. Well, yeah. Actually that's funny. On, that's, the one, that's the album that's actually about to drop. Like, they're like, just going to let the fucking cat out of the bag, dog. We had it. So, hey, much for, a, so much for the surprise drop. Right. Spoiler alert. No. 
Yeah, I'm just, cause I'm just thinking about it. most you know celebrities. No, have that. It's if you actually want to know what it really is, so it's an OVO Christmas compilation album. <laughs> it's, it's a couple different artists on there. It's good though. I now, think you'll like it. Is it they're all originals or are they are they singing old Yo, classics? <laughs> it's it's a mixture. I think you're gonna like it though. Or is it like old classics revamped? No, there's a couple. The school, there's a couple classics that Party Next Door is gonna do that you really gonna fuck with. Them. If, here's the thing: though, I don't want to do like I don't want if if that was to happen for real, I wouldn't want Party Next Door doing uh like classes like you know like the 50s classics. I want them to do like TLC classics. Guess what's gonna be like? You know what I'm saying? And the, the, so the owl's gonna have a the owl's gonna have a Santa hat on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to do that shit. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I want to do the remixes of that shit. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. that work. I think y'all be happy. Yeah, that's a, that's when you know we're all y'all will be happy. Yeah, no. That's like the equivalent of in the '90s in oh, movies, right. and movies, and it's like, like, damn, that's the new '70s. You I know, know like yeah, fucking that. '70s, mid '90s. I started saying movie mid '90s. Have y'all seen that? Watch uh, when the shit comes out. Mid- y'all gonna back. Dang, no. Black Tie was for real. Yeah, I know for real. Mid nineties with uh your boy. No, I haven't seen. Oh, you haven't seen? I haven't seen it yet either. Um, well, yeah, I, man. I didn't see it because I lived it. I'm actually interested. Fall, fall is one of my favorite uh seasons. Yeah, I like I the. I like when it gets cooled down. You know, you gotta wear a little jacket and uh, you know, might it might Even be a little <laughs> rain. Clouds might be a yeah. little gray. I love it. The heat goes. The heat melancholy. Fades away. I like the cold. I actually like the cold. I what I don't like is the precipitation. I don't want the ice. I don't want the snow. But if it wants to be 10 degrees, I'm fine with that. What about a little 10 degree with a little brutal wind? See, I can do it without the wind. The ice cold, like that wind chill. Fuck that. Like, I like it when we be recording and be out there, like, freezing to death. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Damn, that, that, that shit. Yeah. Yeah, God damn, we coming up on another one. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. And even, even, though this, even though this dude would be roasting me for wearing a jacket, you know, it's cool, though. <laughs> no, that's a, that should be a pea coat. <laughs> This that should be stylish. Him. Fall fashion. I'll be out here killing him. I've been waiting all year to let that loose on him. <laughs> Man, take that home to the cleaners. Uh-huh. Sit down on a hanger ready to go. Just waiting. Looking at the weather. So I'm about to kill him. Yeah, with six buttons. <laughs> And I'm talking about like the three and the three. Oh, oh <laughs> Not like six straight down. No, it's just, three on this side, three on this side. Y'all wait. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, 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 that's hey, proper. Man, it's fashionable, all right? Uh, La- ladies, that, ladies, uh, ladies, black tie is fashionable. We also right? got that. Uh, and he's single. Black Friday drop. Just waiting on it. We're going to drop on Black Friday. No, he ain't dropping on Black Friday. Uh, now, Kendrick might drop some on Black Friday. I'll uh, see. Kendrick, Why have we seen his name? Kendrick going to drop Kendrick gonna drop in the winter. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Is, is it going to be Kendrick's season? Oh, Kendrick coming in the winter. Watch. Kendrick's taking over on, in winter. Okay. He's, he's dropping something. Watch. I'm telling y'all. It's long overdue. Yeah, it's been a minute. <clears throat> it's time. Uh, Janet Jackson, the queen. Yes. <laughs> What's going on here? Miss Jackson, if you know. So, um, <laughs> and so. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> celebrating 30 years of Rhythm Nation. There's going to be a tour. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What little 10 city tour? In total, the uh, tour currently hosts 10 dates. Yeah, across so. nine stops. It's because right she's already older. With things kicking off on September 14th in Minnesota and concluding in November with a double feature in Honolulu. Oh, she was yeah. ending it with uh, a with party. paradise, right? Yeah, with a luau. Okay. I said to Jenna Jackson, still out here after all these years, hey, man. You know, do what you do, man. Damn, man. Straight up, it's crazy, man. Like you can never just not have money. Yeah, you didn't she have a? a Billionaire boo that they split up and she got a bunch of money from that too. Yeah, she took half that money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> that hurt that man's soul. Yeah, it hurt my soul too. Shit. It hurt all man's soul. Uh th- let me tell you who soul really hurt that nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel uh, nigga, I don't care how much money you got. You got a billion dollars and you lose half of it, you feel that shit. Fuck yeah. Uh, billionaires they be saying <laughs> billionaires we don't spy. Just take the money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Fuck that! Oh shit! Yeah, Shout out to Jenna, man. You got to be a multi billionaire though, because if you to like be one to say, bill yeah. and you lose half, mm. yo, you trash now. Yeah, yeah. Like, you you know, you're no, like, you no longer. You five hundred million. Yo. You're, no longer, <laughs> you're no longer in the billionaire club. <laughs> you have five hundred million. Yeah, it's like <laughs> broke ass. Yo, like, exactly. Yo, like, <laughs> yo just <laughs> it's trash. not my fault. <laughs> oh my god! Dog. They be calling him broke boy. <laughs> yeah. 
I wish. Hey, that's some wild money. shit. I'd be called broke boy if I had fifty. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. They'd be clowning Man, them. I wish I had ten million dollars. Like, look at that little ass yacht. You, 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 you wouldn't care if someone, <laughs> you wouldn't care if somebody called you broke boy and shit when you, if you were sitting that fat, even though they had more money. Oh, than I would care started. if I had a billion and I lost it and people start calling no. me broke boy. I would feel I'd be upset. <laughs> no, if you didn't, I'd be depressed. If you had, if you just already, you didn't have that much. You if just I had, oh, if I just came up if to five hundred, up to five hundred, and someone called you broke boy, and it was like because they have a billion dollars. There was like a like like it was it was like Warren Buffett had like. 40 billion yeah. it's just like yo you're a broke boy yeah I would be like, I'd be like, I'd be like I'm, more, I'm more I'm broke in terms of you yeah. <laughs> but I ain't broke yeah I'm, I, nah you broke boy <laughs> I saw a picture I'm gonna find it nah, I'm gonna find boy. this picture for y'all it had two yachts next to each other one was very very nice then there was a mega yacht next yeah, to it, and it yeah. said, "This one belongs to a multimillionaire, and this one belongs to a billionaire." Yeah, the billionaire you looks know. like it looks like a cruise ship. Levels, yeah, yeah. <laughs> levels yeah, to this. No. It really is, man. I'm, just, I'm like, this should be so big. I'm like, how does it float on the water? Yeah, a millionaire you know has a yacht like uh, old dude on uh, like Leo DiCaprio, right? Yeah, on uh, Wolf on Wall Wolf on Wall, right. Wall Street. That's like yeah. a millionaire. Yeah, billionaire is like three times, four times that size. No, nah, like five times. <laughs> Oh, it's maybe oh, like it's 20, 40, 50 it's basically, times. Uh, uh, a bro, cruise. Should, it's basically a cruise ship. It's basically yeah. a cruise ship, bro. Like, I seen, they, they showed uh, Bill Gates' ship one time or some shit, bro. Just so like, they can't even call they shouldn't call it a yacht. It should be a cruise ship. <laughs> I own a cruise ship. I don't think they call it a yacht. I, just, I don't even know what they call that shit. A vessel. A yeah, vessel. a vessel. Hey, that's, that's what that's they the, call hey, it. That shit. is the word, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's word. the word right there. Oh, speaking of money, real that quick. Is. Oh, look at that shit. That's nuts. God. It looks like, like that one came out of that. One. It probably it did out the did. back. But right so the, speaking right out the ass, like kind of, right. out the ass edge. No. Oh. Yo, take the baby yacht out for uh, for hey, fishing. Shit, little old shit life the back. ass boat. <laughs> hey, shit, <laughs> shit the baby out the back. Right, that damn yacht bigger than my house. Yeah. <laughs> um, we kind of talked about this before talking about chains we like a long time back. We're definitely poor, <laughs> but. Uh, Odell Thanks Beckham. Thanks for pointing that out, Reba. We are fucking poor. Thanks for pointing that uh, out. Cheers to poor, poor shit. People. Cheers to poor people. Well, you about to feel even more poor. So, <laughs> Odell Beckham. I don't know if you saw this. They're expecting he's probably gonna get fined, but um, dude was wearing a watch. Oh, that. T- oh, I saw that. In the that. game. My God. In the game. He's already watching the game. Let, let's set aside how much it costs. One, why would you wear a watch in the, in the game in football of all sports? Mm. So, you, wait, so you can show it off, nigga? What the hell? What? What? So you can stunt, nigga? You Goddamn. Damn, what? It wasn't, it wasn't a Timex? <laughs> no, it was. He had a, nigga, he had had a been G-Shock. Been a no. I'm just fucking, no, I'm no, 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 this, no, this, this made Roly look like crap. Here. Apparently, he was wearing it in practice, too. He was probably going to get fined. It was uh, Richard Milley. Oh, shit. I think they said this one cost 300 Oh, yeah, damn. see, all right. And you weren't in a football 200, game. 200, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, you ball out. Yeah, they're balling. Impre- everyone on the field got money like that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah they, but they're not shining like you right now. Uh, you you sounding real crazy right now. <laughs> you and your boy Odell. Hey, I'm just saying. How many niggas? How many niggas can say that they caught a ball and you seen the Richard Milley as in the in the in the poster? I'm just man, saying. Me, okay. And you did it one. And you did it, and you did it one-handed, probably. Right. This is, this that is shit one-handed awkward, too. Crazy right in the sun too. Handed. You know that shit was bling blau. You know what I'm saying? saying? How much <laughs> bling blau? So I, I wanted to ask you because we we had talked about this before, yeah. but how much money you got to have for you personally to feel comfortable dropping two fifty three hundred on a watch? Oh, I don't think I would. I don't think I, I, don't I, don't think think I, would. I would ever. Ever. <laughs> I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good, be, I'm not good okay. with watches for one thing. I'm not good with watches either. But like, okay, where, where, okay, wh- why would you need to watch that? What kills me is that the watch is ugly. That's what hurt me. And the normally, most. And ugly shit the, is hey, for the, the most price. Expensive that's shit. Exactly. I was about to say. That's normally, what hurt me the most. Ends up being. So uh, I'm just trying to figure out like what, <laughs> what is it because you wear it out to the Met Gala? What, when would you need this watch? Oh, this shit ugly. You yeah. either wear it to the Met Gala or you wear it in football games. I, I know somebody it, listening to roast us right now. It First of all, you pronounced it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Second of all, you could never afford one. Broke Todd. Bro, bro, <laughs> yo, bro, broke Todd, broke pod. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hey, I, bet, I bet that motherfucker was like takes his pulse and all that shit, shit while he's playing. He wanted to see what his heart rate was. Shit probably did do that, man. That's what they probably has all that. You know, I would hope it has yeah. that if it costs that much. Oh, that's the watch. God. That's one design of it. That's one design of it. She didn't go. Is it? Is it black diamonds? Is it a sports no, watch? It's like they, they're not black diamonds. Is it like a sports watch or no? It does all like kinds of things. You this is three hundred k for this. It, yeah, it does, does it all check kinds your blood of pressure? things. Let me see this. Let me see this. Watch. Check your blood pressure. I'm, go I'm gonna go to the actual website. Hold on. Let me see this black ass watch. 
I'm gonna go to the actual website. That, too, nah, I thought this nigga. Oh, that, okay. If you wearing that, then you trash. Does it give you balance? Yeah. You not wear, if you're not wearing a rollie with the diamonds in, there's no reason to wear that. Yeah, for real. Wear a watch. Like, why are you wearing a plastic rollie? That should look like a stock. Made out of rubber. Yeah, it's like, it's like, is that hard rubber or soft? Like, Jesus. Yeah, no, nigga, I need rubies and black diamonds. No, there's not diamonds in this. Is it? Oh shit! Oh, okay. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Why does it cost so much damn money then? I'm gonna find it. <laughs> what does that shit do? We keep talking. I'm gonna find it though. But uh, yeah, I mean, shit. <clears throat> I mean, shout out to rich niggas. Hey, <laughs> shout, shout, shout. Speaking of which, why why, why, to, why, why we waiting on you cheap pull watches? Up? Shout out uh, to cheap watches. <laughs> right, for real. Uh, so apparently they're I, very limited. That's part of it. Ah, uh, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Man. Uh, so it's I was looking at the Spotify stats again, mm-hmm. and it and it updated with five artists again. Okay. So Tupac has been booted off. Now <laughs> <laughs> so I get off his shit like. <sighs> Tupac has my been booted own. off, and no. Kanye West has been added into the mix. I'm not mad at it. So it's Drake, Kanye West, Rick Ross. Young Thug, Eminem. I'm not mad Top at that. Top five artists that our Spotify listeners are listening to. I'm not mad at that. It's going to change periodically, so I mean. You think so? Yeah, I think you so. You think that's, that's it for Pac? Nah. I think, like, there was you some. think Spotify re- listeners was like, mm, there was some, they toned down their There Pac? was some revelance, uh, or whatever the word I'm trying to look for, reason. There's some reason to uh, that people were probably looking at Pac because, you know, there was the whole. Uh, Tupac must die. There was all this oh, other yeah. stuff that happened. Must so be something going on with Kanye too. Gave a little. It's it's going to be a thing that changes with Buzz. Mm. You know, when artists, certain artists have Buzz. Yeah, I think it's just. I think it's a rap. For Pac, yeah. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm just playing. No, it's just like with you. No, for for our listeners, top. Uh, right, listeners, it's a, yeah, it might, top it might be. Yeah. It could be. No, I mean, only he's getting back on. There's there's times that he he pops back up then. Just for the most part, like who does. is listening to this podcast right now and then gets off listening to podcasts and is like, "Yo, I'm about to go stream fucking Young Thug every album right now." Boom. I don't get that. Who is that? Who are you out there listening right now? That's like, "Yo, I'm about to go stream Young Thug as soon as this podcast is over." Make yourself known, and then right <laughs> after that, I'm gonna stream Eminem. Yeah, so, so odd. They're listening to the old Eminem too, not the new Eminem. Yeah, probably. The devil is the old Eminem. So I would, I would hope so. Just listen to part of this. This description here, this is crazy. The base plate and bridges are crafted of grade five titanium, a biocompatible, highly corrosion resistant, and remarkably rigid alloy. Wow. Then I also to go on to talk about alloy and titanium and something called vanadium. Oh, so this, this bitch is indestructible. So yes. basically, they got so it. This from combination Wakanda. further, in, yeah, Wakanda. right, has vibranium in it. Okay. Uh, further increases the material's res- um, mechanical properties, which explains its frequent use in aerospace, aeronautical, and automobile industries. Limited to 500 of them. So it's what the spacemen wear. Yeah, whatever. Mm. It's what they so built the space bas- shuttle So basically from. can no. just operate anywhere. Yeah, I will wear it to the game. Yeah, if it works anywhere, you got a scuba diver's probably deep sea diving. And now you're going to get fined <laughs> for wearing it. You not Did he get fined? I think yeah. he's going to. Going to, yeah. Because you're not allowed you to wear that. Wear, you can't wear that. I thought you could wear watches. No, no. Also, you wear necklaces. Mother, mother, mother you know wear that? necklaces and earrings still, but like even then, like growing up when you play sports, you're you told should. you shouldn't like take that <clears> off when you play your game, put it back yeah. on after. You don't want. Especially you, in football, that your helmet will rip your earring right out. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Have you seen, did you see what I the headbands in the NBA? Yeah, they look like like the ninja tying ones. Yeah, the ninja tie, they're, yeah. they're banning that. W- who started that shit? I don't know, but the NBA and Nike said nope. Why were they hating on that? They said it doesn't look professional. <laughs> who gives a fuck? That's what everybody else said. God damn. They said they're not accountants. <laughs> who gives a fuck? That's exactly. what I'm saying. Like, nigga, these basketball players like that's not professional looking. Meanwhile, nigga got tats all the way up to the fuck, his fucking <laughs> right. shit. Like, this dude <laughs> got emojis on his own. Birdman's tats. I was like, God damn, dog. He got. <laughs> Talking about that's, a real no, that's professional, all that's right. A real you're like, you're like, motherfucker got tattoos all the way up to the <laughs> yeah, yeah, goddamn. That's you know what I'm saying. Um, not to say that maybe you know, that's not professional about. either. I mean, because I mean, see, it's a new new age, that's a, and that's the part of it. It's like, motherfuckers have all them tattoos, you gotta let other shit go too. Talking so. all that shit about the NFL, y'all niggas on the plantation too. Oh, shit. shit. whoa. Some of that shit about NFL, you know they shots do. Fired. You know they be. You know. You know NBA been throwing shots at the NFL. You know. You know the NBA. You know the NBA fandom has been taking shits on the NFL for like the past three years. All right. Mm-hmm. 
Vice versa. You know what I'm saying? The NFL shit, the fans from the NFL shit on NBA. Usually they don't like, <clears throat> they don't, yeah, unless but like, you're a dual fan of both, about, you're like, kind of like against the other, it's kind of like, oh, can't, why well, is this season still on? Can't wait the, for my the football. The culture tends to show NBA. more love to the NBA than they do the NFL. Definitely, the culture does. Definitely. definitely. Right. Yeah, uh, that's off the top. But I and feel it like recently it got a little more, it, like the past like maybe three or four years, it got unbalanced. You know what I'm it saying? It did. It was, mm-hmm. Kind of more of a balance, but now it's like, the people, definitely like a, like a 65, 35. The balance beam is uneven. Yeah. Well, it's because people like Adam Silver, the commissioner. They were, the yeah. NBA didn't try to silence anybody speaking out or anything related they to had the lockouts they, and all they that kind of shit too. Let them they do. let them do their own thing. Yeah. And NBA players have a lot more guaranteed money, which is what a lot of NFL players have been trying to lock down. Yeah. But there's been some crazy contracts. Like Julio Jones, I think his contract was fully guaranteed. The whole contract? It was like a $66 million extension. It was 64 due at signing or something crazy Ooh. like that. Shit. Which that doesn't happen. Fuck no. Y'all y'all got Zeke at the last minute. Yeah. They signed him up so he playing game one. Last minute. <laughs> they I said, all right, though. come on. That's I know what happened. I know what happened. I knew what happened. I did too. It was yeah. that holdout. Yeah. This yeah, is Jay yeah. Jones like. Jay Jones like to get he likes to get the buzz going around the team. Yeah, yeah that too. That, it, all it did was bring attention to the team. Right. Everybody talk about the team. You know what I'm saying? Get his money night. Jerry games. Jones, he knows what he's doing. He's been doing it for a long he's time. He's been doing it for a whole a really long time. Long time. He's so old he as shit. Doing. A lot of people don't like him, but he knows what he's doing. <laughs> He not necessarily. Know. Not necessarily. He knows how to make the money. He doesn't necessarily put together a winning team all the time. All right, let's but. move on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your your boy, uh, respect your elders. Trade the truth. Trade the truth. Trade the truth. Uh, September fourth, twenty nineteen, was recognized as Trade the Truth Day in Milwaukee. In, in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. What do they have to do with Trader Truth? I was just going. I saw the world star. I was on Instagram. I was like, wait, what? Man, Trader Truth must be out here. Listen. He out here making listen, changes in different places. I've always felt like Trader Truth is the neck, is like neck and neck with like Nipsey Hussle as far as like outreach, activism. You know what I'm saying? And July 22nd streets. is also yeah. his day, but that's in Houston. Yeah, Trade Day in Houston. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. That's why I'm like, Milwaukee. Yeah, it's like, where's that? Milwaukee. Come from? <laughs> when, the Bucks? You find this nigga from Milwaukee. I'm talking about the Bucks. <laughs> You'd be seven. devastated. You I'd be like, you nigga. <laughs> you like, punch Mike Jones for this shit? Yeah. You find he was from Wisconsin? Said, you were mad that he said he was the mayor and you're not even from here. Yeah, you're not even from here, damn it. Um, no, that would be wild, nah, Shout out to Trader Truth, though, man. Shout out to him. Man's a real one. Uh, Texas rapper. All day. All day. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Um, you kind of touched on this already. Well, then come back to his, his new uh, stand-up. He confirmed he's going on tour. Oh, yeah, it's tour. 2020. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which, uh, <clears throat> that's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, Just jump back he into it. get paid. Is he about to get paid, though? Because there's a, a lot of pressure, man. Or is he going to fail? It, and I've actually seen if a lot you, of comedians say this isn't a good idea to just go straight on tour like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I don't agree with that either. Because usually, usually from, what I, from what I've seen is like, I remember when Dave Chappelle, uh, was he had like dipped, mm-hmm. right? And then there was nothing going on with Dave Chappelle for some years. Mm-hmm. And he just kind of started popping up just like yeah. here and there at the- uh, Awards and shit. Just the Laugh It Up comedy. Not, not, not Laugh It Up. I'm thinking about the one in our city. Uh, the comedy club. Uh, <laughs> laugh. The, uh, like uh, improv. What is it? What's that shit called? The one, the one where Kramer was acting up. Yeah. I can't even think of the name. I can't right even either, man. But it's, a pretty, it's very popular. Uh, laugh Factory? Laugh Factory, you're yeah, right. Popped um, in my head. I seen him pop up there. He did like a, you know, I seen like a little, a little sets thing, in there. Yeah, a little thing, yeah. Yeah, and I and I was like, okay, he still got it. Like I, you could tell you just kind of like working out some things, getting the kinks out, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Getting the feel getting back, of it again. Yeah, getting the feel of it again. I think, like, I don't know if Eddie Murphy's done that, but it's a better approach. Well, there, it's funny you said because there's there's quite a few comedians I follow on like other shows and podcasts and all that. <laughs> And they've said, like, even, like, the big names, like, your Chris Rocks, your Chappelle's and all them, especially in cities like L.A., New York, they'll just, like, pop in one day. They will, like, randomly. Can I, can I go on stage right five, ten minutes? Yeah. Like, yeah, knock yourself out. Surpri- and surprise, yeah, like, those are some lucky people. And, yeah, they work it out. Oh, sometimes shit. it sucks. Sometimes it doesn't. Nah. Right. But they're like, you got to work on, like, five, ten minutes at a time. And then once they get, like, a whole thing, they'll, like, do a random show here, do a random show mm-hmm. there. Right. They're just basically then, working out which jokes are exactly. working. Once they've been doing it for, like, a year, right. yeah. go on yeah. tour. Yeah, because you got, that's 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 something I feel like you got you to gotta work out. Kevin yeah. Hart, he can do that. Kevin Hart could, 
Just jump into the... Yeah, he, like, Kevin Hart could do another tour, like, right now. Yeah. You know but he also hasn't stopped. He hasn't stopped. He'd be like, been. tour, movie, movie, movie. Tour, tour right. movie, movie, movie. <laughs> like, right. he, I, I think know. in between um, movie set, like, films and all that shit, he's just nonstop writing, getting his shit together. Mm-hmm. Is I mean, if you want to stay With relevant, you got to, yeah, yeah. Kevin he's Hart ain't doing all that writing no more. Well, not, well, he, he got, got teams. people. Yeah, he does yeah. these days. He got he got like a yeah, like yeah. a pretty pretty nice sized team too. That's why I kind of think his jokes kind of like. That's true. I mean, they even show they even play with that shit on the commercials. That's true. I've seen a commercial where he was doing that. He had like a squad, and they're like making fun of that in a sense, I guess. Right. And he was just like, he's got like his was, he's got like his. He's like, I hate his puns. Squad, he but then he's puns. also got like his writer squad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I've seen him, they got women on there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. The whole nine. It might know? actually been a squad. Diverse. It might actually been a squad that they had on the commercial. Oh, you, you might be right. You might be right. You know what I'm like, they were just fucking. There was a lady that said something, and he was just like, "I hate puns," because she was saying like puns, using puns and shit. Right. It was just a little. I can't remember what the commercial was for. Well, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I hope Eddie Murphy. Uh, I, I really hope Eddie Murphy makes a big bang when he comes back. I yeah, really he has Eddie to. Eddie Murphy to succeed. I do well, too. You know, I'm we saying. we think Netflix. Uh, Netflix is about to pay him. If he is going on tour, you know that. Whoever I don't know if comedians still work with like Live Nation all those other ones, but you know they're gonna pay all kinds of money. Mm-hmm. So hopefully it's good. I want it to be good. <laughs> you know, so hopefully so. Hopefully, if his stand up is good, then that come to America too will be good. Oh yeah, I'm nervous about that, but I also wonder. <laughs> last time he did stand up, he there's a lot of stuff you can get away with. You can't get away with now. Ooh, hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> That's that true. Up, boy, Ooh. Hey, he was out here. <laughs> Listen, Why? Different, different times. Different it times. was. So we was, we was all here talking. Listen, Bernie Mac was out here talking crazy, and that wasn't even as long ago as Eddie Murphy was. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Bernie You're Mac right. was saying uh, that. That Patrice O'Neill. Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. Patrice crazy. O'Neill. Rest in peace to him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> this one, it's rough out here. We're interested to see. What's that? I said we're interested to see. I'm surprised you still haven't seen his Dave Chappelle, man. You gotta watch that. I need to. Yeah. Um, skip work. What's that? Skip work. Skip work. Skip work. <laughs> call in. Yeah. Skip uh, work. Shit. What are you talking about? I'll, just, I'll, I'll just listen. Is it? Hold up. Obviously, it's better to watch it. It is. Okay. You got. It's something that you do have to. Either, I was yeah. like, listen to it while I work. Yeah. You definitely better watch it. Yeah, fuck it. Some of his. Uh, Every break just, I get, I'll, I'll watch. You know, Dave Chappelle, man, just his faces, you know what I'm saying? All that. Yeah, so. mannerisms, a little yeah. acting out, certain Even things, the, like, yeah. accidental stuff. <laughs> like I gotta what? watch it. <laughs> the phone rings. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch it. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm not, I'm not even repeating any of the jokes. Um, no. Nah. Your boy, LeBron James. What's LeBron on here for, man? Uh, President James is getting his a building named after him at Nike headquarters. Oh, okay. That's Shout out to LeBron look. James. So they're going to open the LeBron James building and it'll feature a state-of-the-art sport research lab at their world headquarters next year. Then what's his uh, research lab for? I've wanted to go for You know, it's I'm going to I've wanted to go to Nike so bad. <laughs> oh, to the, to the shit? In Oregon, yeah. Let's, let's do it, man. I'm going to go. You talking about it? I'm let's done. do it. Let's do it. I've never been to Oregon either. So I've never been to Oregon either. So let's bring a pistol. <laughs> I don't think you need one. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Listen, I see. Listen, I see. I see. I see Antifa and in, uh, in the groups clash in Portland. I'm, right? just, I'm bringing a pistol. I'm excited to go to this. <laughs> I hear you. This store there, the Nike store there. Ah, I thought you were talking about dispensary. All right. Look, he about it. Look, look, look at him. It's, your dispensary is his, is his store. <laughs> to shoot a dispensary. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, same difference right. in his head. Right. <laughs> yeah. Shouts out to LeBron, though, man. Um, you got Jay-Z on here because Jay-Z been getting killed even more? More? No. Oh, okay. No, this was something you I saw. You got something good to say about Jay-Z? Um, I'm just reading something I saw. Is the dust settling? This was no. something I saw, I saw yesterday. That. This was yesterday. Um, said, on this day in rock history... Being September eighth, ten years ago, Blueprint three. Okay, um, two thousand nine. Damn, last year came out two thousand nine. Good lord. Uh, we're hitting ten year mark on a lot of this shit, man. It's pretty it interesting. Is. Um, ten year mark on like how fly earlier this year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot, a lot. Two thousand nine was a good year. It mm-hmm. really was. 
<laughs> I can't wait till I'm like 55 and I'm drinking wine and I see a wine from 2009. I'm like, ah, good year. <laughs> Great year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That motherfucker, won't, oh, that motherfucker will not understand what they you won't mean. They won't say that shit. He's like, ah, you 2009, just that was a good year. Yeah. 2009 <laughs> was a good year, man. Shout out to uh, Jay-Z. Was. Blueprint 3 wasn't my favorite, favorite uh, Blueprint, but um, Decent. definitely the weakest one. But had a couple had a couple jams on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna play that tomorrow. Blue Point Three? Yeah, I'm playing Blue Point Three because I can do that because I got title. So I'll play it tomorrow. What else um, can it do? <clears throat> What's that? What else can title do? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Jay Z catalog. Yeah, that's a that's a big listen. That's a bro. <laughs> bro listen, I'm, listen. I know right now. The uh, the stock in uh, Jay Z's catalog is down right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, share, <laughs> stocks Unders- are down understatement. right now. Uh, but I'm telling you, man, Jay Z's catalog is worth a, a you know th- just the ease to get into the mini albums from Jay Z without having to like go through some bullshit to get to it. To to, uh, that's a big plus, bro. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and I watched a little bit of Lou, uh, we uh, a little. Louisiana, Lil Weezy, Louisiana, Louisiana Fist. Fist. Yeah, Louisiana Fist. Fist. Yeah, Fist. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that too. Yo, they Little were climbing Louisiana. your girl, man. I was like, what's wrong with y'all? They climbed, they climbed, they climbed, they've been climbing her looks. Who's, who's her stylist? Yeah, it was like, is that, somebody said, is that a regular ass bra? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what's the problem? And then this other girl was like, no, she needs to have like decorative bras or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I guess I can see that, but. At the same time, uh, leave her the fuck alone. <laughs> leave her alone. All right. so that's it's like, the same, same time, time, watch your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> that's the same what, time, watch your back. <laughs> same time, like that's what that's that's natural. Who the fuck is like seeing rhinestones and all these right. decorative bras in actual uh, behind closed doors? Right. Oh, a man actually sees a regular bra. Yeah. So it makes it a little bit more. And she uh, likes what she likes. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. picks what she wants to wear. Yeah, and it's not. It doesn't have to be over the top. That just shows you. you she's not be Cardi. Normal. She's not Nikki. She's yeah. d- different. I don't feel like. I, like when you when I listen to Meg, I don't think that she uh, originally came off. I don't think she was originally like a girly chick. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think she's she became hood. girly. Yeah, I think she's kind of like a more hood chick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I think she became a little more girly uh, as she progressed in her rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just you know, because it worked too. I mean, of course, you know, you want to whenever you. You know, women rappers, they want to see pretty a pretty woman rapper. We want to see a pretty woman rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they get a little dolled up. They get a little glamorous or whatever. You know what I mean? But I don't think that's originally who she is. No. You know what I mean? So when they talk about all that shit, I'm like, mm, she might be a real thug nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say, nigga, I don't want to talk. <laughs> she not wearing no Damn. glittery ass bras. <laughs> no. A girl that say that. And no rhinestones <laughs> on it. that say, say, nigga, I don't want to talk. Is not wearing glittery ass bras. No. She don't have to glam her shit up. She's not. She's not wearing what that shit. What the fuck shit. is that? I ain't doing so, shit for the free. Did <laughs> <laughs> she say real niggas fuck with me? Yep. She never. Women that talk like that ain't wearing no damn. Fuck no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dolce and Cabo, Whatever the fuck these uh, girls <laughs> mad at she ain't wearing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you realize there's women hating on her too? Yeah. It's not like men. Like, ain't men. Ain't like men. That's a regular bra. Yeah. Ugh. Like what the fuck. Ain't no man saying that. Right. See, y'all shaming her. See. Yeah. Y'all ain't y'all that, ain't that some shit? Women shaming. Think about women. that. Ain't mm-hmm. that some y'all shit? Y'all ain't shit. Shame on y'all. Y'all ain't shit. They ain't shit when it comes. <laughs> well, listen. Damn. <laughs> they'll talk shit about. Well, they'll, 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 we just lost a percentage we'll, of fans. We'll, we'll, we'll talk shit about that. about men, right? But <laughs> whenever they they will. They would tear down another woman and act like the shit didn't even happen. That's some real shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Stop tearing down Meg, all right? Shit. Leave her alone. I love her. Now. <laughs> not uh, his Meg. That's, not <laughs> my Meg. Not my huh. Meg. Uh, he said, I love her. Yeah, he, he went all the way today. He yeah, did. She's great. He, shot, he yeah. finally, I knew it was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew I knew that, that knew was his true coming. feeling. Meg, how let me. Just had to happen eventually. I'm the only one out here defending you, boo. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Sega. Sega. No, we got to talk about this for a second. No, 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 that no, no. was that boys to men, lower your voice type talk, like right. little statement. Like, this is really a voice that I made right before I throw my drawers on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so I, did I tell you my dream that I had about Meg? You had a dream? I had a dream about Meg. 
<laughs> not, that, not the shark movie, right? No, about me, no. Maggie Stallion. Let me tell you. Let me tell you my dream real quick. Oh, all right. Is it? Are we allowed? It's it's it's, it's, it's not. It doesn't. It starts out. It, listen, Hell, do I want to hear? This? Oh. So I'm at a house party. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> but it's just me and Meg and like one of her little like friends. You so it's just saying? three people there. Yeah, it's just us three. Right. right. So then she's like. You know, kind of trying to like, all right, let me figure out how I must be my game. You know what I'm saying? You know, she, yeah, she yeah. kind of got everybody, you know, driving a boat. I'm driving a boat, so I'm good right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get in here, right? So, so, uh, I can see she might be like kind of interested too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, she getting she, down with it. Yeah, but she ain't like, you know, ain't nobody forcing it. We just letting it just, you know, happen. You know what I'm saying? So then her friend comes in. She's like, yo, he's here. <laughs> right? And then. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, so then, Meg's like, "Yo," she's like, "Yo, you gotta go, right?" And I'm like, "Why, right?" She's like, "You, you just gotta go, right?" No. Uh, so then they take me outside, and they're like, in in the backyard, and they're like, "Yo, they got a little dog too, so you gotta be quiet." Right? Yeah, they get Jazzy Jeff. So no, so I go into these bushes in the back. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, I, like I see coming in, and like thirty Crips come in. <laughs> Crips walking the- with money bag. Yo, I don't even know if it's a crib, but it- <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. right. Cool so dream. I'm like, I'm like, all right, I gotta be quiet. <laughs> what a dream! <laughs> so fucking this fucking little dog comes while I'm hiding these bushes. The dog, like, it's like one of their, it's like one, it's one, of the, it's one of the Crips' dog. And, and in my head, I'm thinking. Why you got this little ass dog anyways, nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be hardcore ass niggas. Why you got this little dog? Chico. Right. So, <laughs> the fucking dog comes over there like he's sniffing, you know, like he's about to like, he's about to alert. Yeah. So I take a rock and I just toss that shit and the dog goes running. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In that direction. Smart. And that's it and I wake up. And 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 I know you, you, you're into uh, like uh, a little bit into the, the dream interpretations. I, I, you know, I tried to. I, I didn't. Really, I don't you haven't. Really have no, it. I just woke up and I was like, "Damn, I'm gonna have to look at how the fuck am my own dream?" Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you threw shit. the rock and woke yourself up. Yeah, I was like, "God damn it!" All right, whatever. Like, oh shit! Next time. Um. Next time. Yeah, you're yeah. like next what? time we'll go all the way. <laughs> right. What? Uh, what's up with saying? What, what's up with saying on here, man? They made a comeback. Uh, today marks 20 years since the release of the Dreamcast. Oh wow, that's crazy! Yeah, I saw that on Instagram Twenty today. years, twenty damn, years. Damn, we just every day we, we get older and we older. Fourteen when that bitch came out. Yeah, uh, just about. We're we're basically fresh into high school. Yeah, Crazy Taxi was popping. Yes, <laughs> Crazy Taxi. Yes, that game was legit. They used to like playing that game. Yeah, everybody everybody liked that game. Yeah, it was a fun awesome. game. Yeah, I used to always get damn. the green. I always go for green because it was a quick little. Give it that boost. You know, you you know, you get the yellow ones, and you would mm-hmm. drive further. If you did the red ones, it would drive even further. Uh, but it would be more money with the yeah, red. But yeah. if you get the green ones, you could just get a bunch of green. You green, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what what we're saying. yeah, man. Shout out to Crazy Taxi, man. Now, damn, fourteen years old. That's crazy. Yeah, time fucking flies. God dang. Uh, I kind of, I, I always wanted one of those. I never got that system. I, I had a friend that had it, so I'd always just play on here. I used to go to a youth it. center and they had that in there, and they, that's that's how dream I used to do it. Yeah, That was the first Dreamcast. disc, right? System that used the disc. I think it was this, but it was like a small disc. Yeah, I believe it, it was, was smaller than normal, but it was it was like a, a coaster. Disc still. I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like pretty that. much that. Yeah. But yeah, that. It, hey, they set they set it off. The now crazy thing was that was the only game that I really that. remember. Maybe like maybe a sports game, maybe like a NFL or a basketball game. But I don't really remember too many other games on Dreamcast. I'm That's sure true, Sonic yeah. had one. Yeah, I had to. Sonic definitely had one. Sonic had Sega on his back for years. Man. Now, <laughs> yeah. Now, That's true. honestly, I was gonna say uh, if they like, we witnessed the beginning of using discs to play video games you know it's not cartridge we went from cartridge to to disc now we're witnessing it's been 20 years and now we're witnessing a change from disc to digital yep to nothing to nothing no more physical right we, we went through a whole fucking era or era i said era era you know what i'm saying like of the whole switch up you know that, that's like the people who witness the a track a track Right type shit. We went to, through multiple like, switch ups though. Yeah, yeah we, we went did. from like Nintendo, 
But that's what I'm saying. We went from the cartridge. Yeah. We went from the cartridge to the disc. To the disc. And now we're, but we, but we weren't there for the beginning of the cartridge because cartridge was Atari, and that's before us. It's a yeah, it's a little different. So, us, yeah. so we didn't go from the beginning. We actually went through a whole, the disc era. Right. Yeah. You also went through Fuck. with uh. Think like, about that. That's what, crazy. It was GameCube or PS2 or whatever. A memory card about this big. Yeah. You're like, oh, I got 256 gigs. I can save everything known to mankind. <laughs> right. yeah. So now you get up to this and like, uh, yeah, and here's the extra hard drive. It's five terabytes. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, really? what? Yeah. It's like, you're going to need them. Yeah. yeah. And and I know people who are filling that shit up. Yeah. You know, already. What, so how? When, they, when you save a game. Games, games are fucking. They, they, they hold, take up they so, take much so much space. space and now. then like. Oh, every the actual t- game itself. So and then yeah. every time you go to play, it has an update. And that takes up all More kinds space. of space. Yeah. And then any add-on you buy for yeah. the game is more space, and it, it's a lot. Like they mm. made it to where basically you're supposed to play a game. When you beat it, you delete the game, yeah. the game file that 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 holds a lot. Not your game save because that's never been the same amount. It's always a lot less. So they want you to delete basically the game off your system, right, right, right. and then you start playing your next game, whatever. And but if you ever bring the game back, you can just pull up your save. But you have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have that on as long as you keep your save on. Yeah, there. updates is just terrible. It's just a lot. You want to sit down and play stuff? It's like, oh, update, and you're like, Phew. there goes forty minutes. Yeah. So you can't choose to not update. Not really. Think about it. you can update or you cannot play. Oh, you cannot play. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? <laughs> well, yeah. Systems need their updates or they're not. The games aren't going to be compatible. Yeah. They just ain't going to work. Especially if you like do anything online. online. Yeah. They don't want. Yeah. Mm. Bitch ass niggas. They 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 make you. It's kind of like Apple when you said that they should fucking do that with your phone. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah the right, updates right, like. Right. Oh yeah. Did I ask for this? Right. Hey, conference tomorrow. You somewhere? Apple. Apple. Oh yeah, I'm watching that. Yeah, you, you about to get that new phone. No, I didn't yeah. get that new phone. Yeah, we've heard this before. Okay, listen. <laughs> stop. Reef about to get that new listen, phone. He's not getting Full the new stop. phone. He's not getting the new phone. He's not getting a new phone. He's gonna, he's gonna get those glasses. You heard about those Apple glasses. Now look. Let That's me tell you phone. who will be getting a new phone. You, you get a new phone? Apple Care Todd. Okay. <laughs> How long have you had your ten? Um well, this one came out. When it came out. I didn't get the one you have. That was one year when this came out, right? So this will be two years, coming up on two years. She's coming up on two years. So you change your phone every two years? Yeah. I used to. I, I've been on every other phone since the 3GS. Bro, I might get a new phone for like five years. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. All right, yeah, we'll going see. Three years. <laughs> I, I, my last one was four years. And then you the six? mine was three. I went from. I'm yeah, sure this, this one to five. Three, That's it. Five. We'll see. Breaks or some shit? I'm trusting it's a five. Three, five, seven, ten. Yeah. Yeah. I went from, yeah, me too. I went three years. That's the most I went. Right. And I didn't like it. <laughs> so I didn't like it. I didn't like waiting that long. I didn't like that four years I, I came from, but I was still cool, though. I was you know cool with saying? it, too, though. I ain't gonna lie. I was I'm, cool with I'm, it. Just, I'm not. At I'm that point, when the 10 came out, I was like, it's time. Yeah. I was okay till he got that shit. I said, man, fuck your phone. Yeah, oh, no, oh, okay. Oh, big ass clear screen. So now you better get a big screen? Oh, yeah. Phone is amazing. Why you didn't get it the first time? They didn't have it. This is the only size. Oh, that was the only size they had? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I know you weren't talking about my phone, but my screen is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> no, it is a good one. No, no, you got some quality in there. <laughs> nah, I ain't, ain't going to talk about what you do to the group chats, but you got some quality on the videos. Yeah, man, I hear so, ruining all group chats. Y'all are the weird ones. <laughs> no. You got to think about it. How about you're fucking up mine? No, no. no. <laughs> just ruining. I got group. a tainted group chat with my family. Yeah. With some of my cousins. So, hold up. So, yeah, hey, just hey, ruining a good iMessage chat. Y'all get two. Of the same thing, do y'all get that? Like, if I send you a message, do y'all get two of them? Because I was hearing that's happening to some people yes, who are getting messages it's happening from in one of my group chats. It's terrible. Some you Android, yeah, get two of the same back message. to back. I'm like, dog, get yeah. rid of that. Phone. I don't understand why they do that. Like, why can't they make them compatible? In that, in that sense, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Like, why can't have they make seen the what text it, Have you seen what it does to the video? If he sends a video to the group chat, oh, it makes it so fucking. Oh my you can't god! See it? You're like, what the fuck? You remember, you remember you can't I showed it to yours? you, and you were like, "Wait, why does it look like that?" And I was like, "Even still, yeah." When I send like, because I see my screen records, and they you can barely see him. It looks yeah. like you recorded it with like like a like a like a, a like a flip phone. phone. I was about to say that. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like my old flip phone recording. Tainted. It's because it's because of Android. <laughs> it yeah. is because if it was an iPhone, if, if this is a, like a full iPhone, yeah. that shit would be like perfect. Yeah, it would, I, and I feel the same way with my Android family. You know, we're good until an iPhone. <laughs> That's a until an iPhone comes. Because I see how the Android niggas like, yo, what is this shit? 
That's because they don't know their Android yet. They haven't. They haven't no, played with it. No, this is other Android niggas talking to other Android niggas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They just haven't played with their Android yet. Enough okay, to understand right, right. it. I can respect that. They don't it's get like it. They can't. Uh, some people. Some people can't. Some people aren't uh, f- phone gen. I don't know the word I'm looking for. They don't. They don't. They don't, they don't, don't phone Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say <laughs> phone. Phone gen- I was gonna say yeah, yeah. It was all fucked up. That's why I stopped. You know, I was like, eh. Phonogenic is wild. Uh, Pump like, no, my brakes. No. <laughs> So uh, let's 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 finish up this podcast, man. Uh, y'all, you got Panini, Panini down here. I do artistic ignorance. I don't think it should be there, but I'm willing to hear your your uh, your. I was just gonna ask if anybody watched the video. Or it was just me. I was just. I me. seen the video. I seen the video <laughs> earlier. Yeah, when you played it earlier. Yeah. I did see the, the uh, dancing robots. Another reason why we should vote for Yang. Automation is taking away choreographed. I didn't watch uh, it. Uh, dances. It's you know it's quick. It's a short song, so you know. So. <laughs> Videos out there, so it's it's very it's very high tech. It's very uh, futuristic. It looks like somewhere I want to visit. It, like for one thing, I gotta ask. So there were no paninis in the video. Nope. No. So they, if you watch the genius um, with it, uh, Black Tie was uh, grateful enough. I'm not grateful. Well. Um, Great enough to go and gracious, enough. gracious. There we go. Gracious yeah. enough. To, Sometimes uh, I get the word right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was gracious enough to show me the, the where they the, where they where the panini actually came from. Yeah. And what it what it actually means is not. It has nothing to do with paninis. It has nothing to do with paninis. It was some characters on a acronym. cartoon show or some shit. Oh. Yeah. It's, we're not gonna understand because we're not a, we're a not part of that. that generation. Yeah, that's what I say. We're we're off. Right. <clears throat> so no wonder the song made no sense to me. I be on Twitter sometimes and I see that like 24, 25 year old crowd and they'll be like gang, they'll be all like laughing about some shit that came out and I was just like Like what's so great about that? Dorks. Yeah, it's like the fuck is that? <laughs> you yeah, had to do them like that. I mean, I'm like, what the fuck was y'all watching? They be like, they be saying, I, I just like, don't get some like, of the, I don't, I don't get some of the shit that people watch. Like, there's or like they'll like certain weird. artists I'm like, y'all like this motherfucker? Like, uh, yeah. There was like, I think it was um, Vitamin C. No, not Vitamin C. <clears throat> like the graduation song, Vitamin Kesha. C? Kesha. Kesha. Oh, okay. okay. So you know everybody from our generation is like, mm. yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Kesha. How'd you get on Vitamin C? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, you're way off. They're kind of the same. Vitamin C. <laughs> Did Kesha have like a song that was, you know, like that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Kesha. So Kesha, like, eh, I, I was, <laughs> you know our generation with Kesha is kind of like, we just look at it as like corny, like, yeah. Pop, rap, corny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a couple levels below us. They look like she's like a fucking she's genius. A queen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? No, yeah. I don't get it, bro. It's just like a gap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I just like, yeah, she's definitely a gap. There's, there's always that uh, vitamin C. That fucking, <laughs> there's always that fucking uh, 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 that gap that separates right. the real ones from. the... <laughs> Separate the weak from the ops. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I don't really have any reviews. I didn't get to listen to Sir yet. It's smooth. You did I, it. I know. I know it's going to be smooth. Oh, no, I, I, I really that, to that was all I had for it. It's um, yeah. it's it's good. It's a good he project. Did, he didn't listen to that. He was too busy listening to Post Malone. That's uh, that's what I thought. No, you know I don't listen, I don't listen to Lupe. He listened to the Post. No, the Lupe. Yeah. Well, I Who? actually listened to Post. You listen to no, I did. Oh, just, no, like, did not, the track I told y'all I would. I listened yeah. to the Ozzy Osbourne track. Oh, what did you think about that track? It was it was kind of cool to hear Ozzy. It was good. There. I've heard it's good a, things about chorus. it. It's just a chorus, but it it, <clears throat> it it definitely reminded me. Even how the music, the song comes in and everything, it reminded me of an old school like Black Sabbath yeah. Ozzy song, like coming and everything, and then and then Travis Scott in there, he ain't, ain't too shabby in there. Y'all remember his show? Well, I yeah, no, I remember, God. but it was just a lot he of mumbles. Yeah, that's what's crazy when he he sings his lyrics. He's the first shit, mumble he's rapper. Clear, he's good. <laughs> so starts talking. He's like, first uh, mumble he's clear as fuck. Sharon, what is this nigga saying? He always, I always understand his wife's name. Like, uh, and I'm like, is he on drugs? I didn't yeah, know what the fuck was going on. They're saying, I heard something that he was like on that show that he was being over medicated. Like uh, that, his medication was off, so that he was—he really was just a uh, lost kind of shit. in a stupor. That he yeah. was being over medicated, not per, like on purpose either. It's like that it was—that's just it was ended up happening or some shit, or maybe it was on purpose. I don't know. I just—that's what I was hearing. It was, maybe it was just a rumor too, but it kind of makes sense, right? You know, because he was gone, and then 
It just always was weird to me that when he talks, he always and then it's like it's fucking clear as fuck when he sings his lyrics. It's so, right. it's so weird, but you know that's just how it is. I mean, it's mm. it's kind of you know my cousins in Mexico was like trying to talk to you in English at first before you know they started like when I was young there before they taught in Mexico. You know the kids had to like it's a mandatory class type shit you know everyone knows english now over there. and before they did that they would try to talk to me to be so broken and like they it was hard for them to talk it but they'll fucking sing a song like they know english like nothing like like yeah. it's every day talking like perfect enunciation everything it's like fuck, but it's music you know Everyone can uh, sing it. They don't necessarily know what the fuck they're saying. <laughs> bro, I, bro when, I was, Yo, when, when I was overseas, man, I, Bob Marley, like, people that didn't know man. English knew Bob Marley, which yeah. is just the wildest shit. Yeah. They don't necessarily know what the fuck they're saying, but it's just, it's music. You know, it's a vibe. It's like, music is, is world, like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, Universal? Universal, that's the fucking word. Jeez, I'm glad I didn't try to say something that was going to be bad. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about two of y'all today. <laughs> What man? Goddamn shit! <laughs> it's a Monday, man. Oh, it's always a Monday. Never mind. Words no, are hard. Not, <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> that should be shit. a book <laughs> that I, someone has to read. Words are hard. Yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta, like, well, it, I gotta, I gotta start reading more. That's what it is. That is too. Need to stop watching these these movies instead of the actual books. Just yeah. Reading the books. Um, who, is anybody dropping albums this week? Uh. Maybe I, I did. Maybe. Hey, I, I did actually end up listening to uh, Earth Gang. Oh, I did listen to part of Earth Gang, but uh, I felt like I should like, we'll give it a little more time. Yeah, I listened okay. to maybe like the first cool. five tracks. I, listen, I actually listened to all of it, but I'd like to listen to. I was gonna say I'd like to listen to it more before I can actually delve in because it's it's very. One thing I would describe and see if you kind of get that from the first tracks you've heard, uh, the vibe I get. Uh, this album. Sounds like what Outcast would be if they had two Andre three thousands. <laughs> that's kind of the kind of the energy a little bit. Yeah, you know, like if if Andre three thousand had a. Twin, there's definitely no big boy he'd... presence here. Mm-mm. No, <laughs> but there's definitely an Andre or like times Al- two. I don't want to say Outcast, but Andre or like maybe CeeLo. C- yeah, you know what I'm saying. Because yeah. yeah, think about it, Outcast and Goody Mob were always like working with collaborating with each other a lot. They right. always did, and when it comes to those groups. Who were the oddballs, in a sense? Andre and CeeLo. So maybe that's a better way to put it. It's like a, a Andre CeeLo collaboration right. feel. That's kind of the energy. That is that is the energy you get. And I, it, it ain't nothing bad about it either. If I can just listen to it, like I want to soak it in a little bit more. But hearing it the first time, I actually already took a few tracks like back. Like I was like, I want to hear that verse again. Right. That's like I want to. Try to break it down a little bit, and it's like, hey, I gotta, I gotta hear more. But definitely had me on that vibe, that tip, and I was, I was playing it loud just in my like late last night, honestly. <laughs> it, like that's not when I first heard it because I was already listening throughout the day, but I went back and started playing it again. But wasn't really even listening that time. I was kind of just vibing. Okay. Late night. Did her drop a new album? Who did? Her. Possibly, is that just is that just drop or is this is this a mixtape? Okay, so w- listen, yeah. y'all. Truth be told, uh, <laughs> podcast fans, we're definitely gonna be. I'm I'm def- I think we should definitely review Sir and F Gang. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm just wondering if this is, if that. this is a new. Uh, her. What's right. the cover? It's a uh, like a what is that? I used to know her. Uh, no, that this came out. dropped out eight thirty nineteen. This is like a re a revamp. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it is YB and Cordae. Yeah. I actually started listening to Joel Ortiz also. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to check that one out, man. No, uh, it actually didn't sound too bad from what I've heard the first couple tracks. Right. Uh, but it sounded like typical Joel. Yeah. yeah. Got bars. Well, that is it, y'all. We are at the end of the podcast. We appreciate everybody for joining us on this ride for episode 180. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a five-star review on the Apple Podcast app. Share with your friends. 
She had with your side chicks. Constantly get you know hit hit, hit notifications <laughs> if if whatever you're listening to has it, <clears throat> and if it has uh subscribe subscribe definitely. You should have already done it. Definitely. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel traumatic.com slash YouTube. Check out some of the uh, reactions. Make sure you mm-hmm. subscribe on there. I need more subscribers. And we need more interaction. Shout out to the uh, YouTubers out there, uh, YouTube commenters out there. Shout out to Rami Taylor. Uh, right. Shout out. Oh, did we talk about? Uh, we didn't get to talk about it. I'm not. Is Eminem a guest in hip hop? A guest? Yeah. Like, this is what Lord Jamar was saying. Saying that he's just here, basically because he's being allowed. Right. This is what Lord Jamar. Damn. Said. Yeah. That's a ridiculous. That's pretty. Thing. That's pretty right. fucking harsh. Yeah. And uh, Rami I, Taylor. I don't Rami, Rami Taylor pointed this out because we didn't go into detail. We talked about the whole Lord, Lord Jamar and Royce and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Which is true. We kind of glossed over that. To be totally honest with you, mm-hmm. I agree, Rami. Uh, true that. So y'all don't y'all don't feel like Eminem is a guest in hip hop? I don't think he's a guest. He actually made he he made a big impact. I mean. <laughs> For one thing, I'll put it this way. Dr. Dre ain't put no guest out. Dr. Dre is True. who put him out, and he ain't dropping just a guest, or just someone that's strolling by. Right. No, I'm just here running through the town. Nah. Eminem doesn't have to prove himself anymore, man, to he be don't. totally honest with you. You know He's what I'm saying? He's been that. around he re- a long time. He's been a big voice for a long yeah, time, a right. big brand for a long time. Straight up. Come on. I mean, he just there's a possibility... That he's maybe I wouldn't say overstate is welcome, but he's definitely has it. <laughs> that's funny. No, overstate no, is welcome. No, that's, wow. it. that's why. No. That sounds like you calling him a guest. No, no. What I'm saying because that did actually <laughs> sound like I'm calling that. No, what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. Wow. Say, well, it's funny how y'all saying that. What I'm saying. I'm not saying wow. that he overstate is welcome. <laughs> No, you saying it. <laughs> no. No, what I'm saying is that he definitely is not the same artist who he was, so he's not putting out the oh, same shit. quality as what he was putting out at the beginning. So he honestly could have stepped away from the game a while ago. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. He could have stepped away the game from the game a while ago, and it probably wouldn't have hurt his career as much as it has him staying because he has taken a lot more backlash from staying in the game longer than... Possibly, that's why I said mm, overstayed. I don't know because I I kind of feel like Jay stayed. I mean, he's catching backlash too, but not for it's his not raps. For music. It's not his music. Yeah, yeah. not his raps. But, Eminem uh, getting it for his Royce rap. isn't catching really any heat either. Uh, he's he's aging well. With that. I don't know. I think Eminem Eminem. I don't I don't I don't feel like he overstayed his welcome or anything like that. No, I but uh, I do feel <laughs> like. Uh, I don't. I don't really feel like he has to prove himself. You know what I mean. But I do feel like uh, maybe some of the, some of the uh, themes or whatever uh, now his in his old age, yeah, it seem a little seem a little juvenile, and you know what I mean, or whatever. But uh, well, the thing is, when he tried to do his adult political and all that shit, everyone shitted on him. <laughs> but he, he got adult. But everybody was like, "We don't want adult. We want." We want, we want the Eminem show. We want, we want pill popping Eminem, but I, I, it's like pill Eminem. But I do feel like some some of some of the you know some of the. I don't know if that's the adult <laughs> like like I like I feel like he could do the adult thing better. I think you, you know too. what I'm saying. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't. I, I, he's got to find that. But imagine the wordplay he'd put on talk, spitting about. Stocks and bonds and all that shit. <laughs> bonds, man. Yeah, we got we got to go ahead and trademark this shit. <laughs> what did we say last week? The stocks and bonds rap with the four hundred one k beats. The <laughs> Yo, man, that is it, man. Shout out oh, to you, shit. Rami Taylor. Uh, sorry, we put it all at the end of the podcast, but at least we got to it, man. So, yeah. um, we appreciate the comments. Like I said, keep giving us comments. Interact with us. You know, let us know what you want to hear. Any topics? Yeah, uh, that's it. Hit us with the line. We're gonna be up out this thing. No, I'm saying, no, I'm talking about deuces, smoke some bitch, and the fight go with that. Thanks for listening to the Truth Be Told podcast. Be sure to subscribe and log on to Trillmatic.com for the latest in underground music, film, fashion, and more.